Hello and welcome to our second look at men or lords. We are starting off a brand new campaign today because yesterday we tried a bunch of things and we learned how to make a successful city, but we were playing on the one that doesn't allow for combat. And today I want to show off combat. So we're going to grab ourselves a suit of armor. We're going to call ourselves Sir... Sir Toaster. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going with this. And we're going to make ourselves a cool, quick coat of arms to get really into battle. A sword? A classic sword, perhaps? Oh, weird. Interesting. A silver and golden sword, perhaps? Are these underpants? That's hilarious. Whose flag is just underpants? I want to go from being kind of a farming town into a combat town. Build up a really nice village now that I have a good idea on how to play this game. We went cyan last time for the channel colors. Maybe we go with deep purple. Maybe we bleed some purple for Twitch today. Unless, what if... Ooh. I kind of like that sword. I vibe on that. Sir Tosis? Sir Halitosis? Sir Argent? One letter from Agent? Oh, that's not bad. That's maybe better. I was just trying to see how many times I could fit sir into one word. Classic sirloin. If we're honoring Twitch, we need the underpants in honor of the hot tub streams. I, I'm going to go with the sword. I well, We got a good look here. I like this vibe. It's clean. It's cut. I want to go combat. I want to be a knight. Sir money, as they say in French. Monsieur Argent. Let's go. Uh, so last time we played on Rise to Prosper Prosperity, which is just all about making the large town settlement. This time we're going to do Restoring the Peace. Two territories in the north are claimed by illegitimate baron whose castle is located off map. Bandit camps reside in other unclaimed regions. We build and expand, and when ready, we challenge the baron for the northern territories and every other territory that he's claimed at that point. Bring your city and raise forces as quickly as you can. The lands are pestered by raiders, and undefended settlements will quickly perish. Survive all the attacks and reach the large town. Does this one have an AI component? No. AI opponents are off. Growth, domination, growth. Conquest. I mean, it's all the same, really. Present. Absent, presence, balanced, aggressive, reactive. We'll make them balanced. I think we'll stick with all the other standard everythings. That feels good to me. Armament delivery, no free weapon delivery. Residential requirements are demanding. Requirements triggering loss of approval are shifted by one level to be more demanding. And weather events are difficult. Droughts can happen in the summers. Thunder strikes cause fires and rain instantly damages exposed supplies. I'm curious. I think I'm going to stick for default right now. Just because we got to get a handle on the combat before we got a handle on everything burning down. And the game is still working out its balance. All right. We are on the edge of the map. Oh, my God. We have rich iron and rich wild animals. That's very nice. We have a new message. Build up your town, your manor, and when ready, press claims towards regions owned by other opponents. Once a claim has been pressed, be prepared for battle. He is way over here. 
what do we have near us? We have wild, rich animals over here. Rich animals and rich berries to the south. Nothing particularly great in the north. Uh, one big question, and this is the big question of every campaign, is where the food at? <sighs> All right. Kind of in the center here is the best for Emner. The real question is actually where the barley at? And the answer is that the barley is here in the middle. Barley, I find, is like the number one thing that really like slows you down in mid game because you need to be able to get a bunch of booze to get your stuff up and running. Okay. So it looks like we're probably going to expand here into the center then. And we'll make this. Wow, this place is so fertile. For everything. That's insane. I've never seen a map have such good farming tiles. Uh, so if we expand here, we could set up a farming settlement in this nice little valley. And then we could be a hunting, gathering, mining settlement. And focus on building up weapons of the like. Soundtrack's so good. Guess I'll buy it. And they should add it to Spotify. It's super good. I think they'd be fools not to release this soundtrack on its own. So, I think let's spin the map like this. We have berries and hunting down here. Which means that these forests, we kind of want to stay together. There's lots of farming up here. And the road kind of goes this way. So, if this is our iron, we could kind of focus our city right on this, like, border. And then it wouldn't be too far away from all the foods. We could focus on, like, wood cutting over here. We could vibe on that. And God, honestly, we could even set up our manor like right here if we wanted so that the military is like right at the entrance to the zone. Stretch a nice road down through this. Uh, the biggest issue with this place is that all of the... Yeah, all of the farming is literally here in the middle. So we're not going to be able to farm... But we could take wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast at the cost of 50% reduced yield from crops. I could literally go no farming for this opening town. Focus on hunting, trapping. Trading, we're probably going to have to trade and then blacksmithing. One, two for deep mining. Three, four, five, six points. I think you get six development points. I would in food, bread. Uh, this, the trading stuff is like really, really super strong. All right, let's start setting up. Make all the wood people chop down those trees first, designated chop areas. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I can't chop this area because it's right where all the far, right where all the wild animals and the berries are. And I'm pretty sure if you chop all these trees down, it affects those deposits. I'm all but certain of that. I'm going to build a little winding road. Just to grow that out a little bit. And give us some idea of where we're going to like build the actual town. It's going to be kind of in and along here, I think. 
It does affect them. I'm unsure how I saw in Randolski's run they moved, shrank. Yeah, I've I've cut down stuff near berries, and it's been like the berries are affected. So I am somewhat hesitant. I think what I'll actually end up Oh yeah, look, you can actually see this is like there is a there's zone that you don't want to build in. So if I was to go like this, perhaps. And then one of these nice little roads here. Now we're cooking with gas, dudes. Now we've got a nice little setup because we can build things like the hunter's camps up here near all the berries. We can build the foragers camps up here as well. Try not to uproot too many trees. We can toss, say, a logging camp right in over here and start clearing out all this stuff. Along with a woodcutter's lodge. That's one, two, three, four jobs. Which is basically all of the jobs we are allowed to have at the start. Definitely going to want to relocate that hitching post, but I guess probably not until all these supplies are moved. So let's let them build. No farming run and focus on meat and trade sounds pretty good. Yeah. I like the idea of focusing on, like, hunting and foraging. The rich iron deposit means we can make a lot of cool stuff with the blacksmiths. And, like, fairly consistency to trade. We're going to put this on very low priority. A new message. We've heard of your renown. I seek to defend my rights and honor against those who would wrong me, says Hilda Rant von Birenut. I will hope you will not judge me about rumors and slanders they may spread about me. You have no rightful claim to celibates and Hofstein. What has he got? He's got the good berries and he's got the good clay and he's got good iron. Yuck. Nikki Myth, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the agency. Look, there's rich wild animals here and rich wild animals here. We're going to be... This might be the first time I actually have an excess of meat. I might build like two hunter's cabins, depending on how all this goes. Uh, homies need market stalls, so... Let's think this out. If this is the blacksmith... Or this is the, the iron deposit. We're going to have housing mostly along like here and here. We could put the market here and then also grow housing out this way. Seeing as there's nothing down here. That's not terrible. This is a big road. Okay. Oh, that's a big road.
Draw little connections. Our first enemy is named Hilda. Have them mark at the inner triangle bit. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Because if we go that way and that way, then this could be our focus on... Uh, on uh, kind of where the population lives. There could be a little farming to be done here for Emner. Well, I think it's debatable, but... How would this look? 26 dolls? Sometimes the game doesn't like when you get like too close into the corners. All right, you're fine with that corner. You're fine with that corner. It's just this guy you don't like. All right, marketplace. The lifeblood of our town. Throw somebody on the woodcutters. Someone will get on that logging camp after. I guess we have access to stone here as well. That can be pretty low as well. And then I guess we could set up nice, like, vegetable gardens on this beautiful hillside. Feels good. Good number of stalls to start with. Yeah, 26 is, like, not too bad. It's not too many. It's not too little. Crom, hello. Move families around. They don't set up stalls, so no goods are sold. Yeah. I don't like moving much once it's set up. But I do know having, like, multiple small marketplaces is typically better than one super big marketplace. So, if I was to say, plot you lads like this. Oh, I guess with the stone there, I can't really get too many of you in. All right, I just don't have enough wood for this right now, which makes sense. But these will be good vegetable plots. Better still if I can do them like that. All right. One guy on the logging camp. We got everything we need except for the houses. Is the game out on Steam? April 26th is the release for early access. Uh, so I don't know if they're doing pre-orders yet or if it's just wish list right now. But soon... All right, so we put housing there. I could put like a bloomery and a smithy. I gotta be honest, I don't think I actually need a smithy because they only make tools and backyard blacksmiths can make tools as well. So I could just say tuck a bloomery in here instead. We could do the church right here. Or there, or there. We could do the church in any of those spots, honestly, around the triangle would be nice. Perhaps there would be nicer. Because if we grow this way, I might also grow a little bit into the forest. We'll see how we vibe. Home symbol change meaning you can add a second residence to the plot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they add in the little plus guy. Um, and it's really nice because if you're doing things like vegetable gardens, it means that two people will work that job instead of just one. And you tend to get more people than Burgages. Come on, laddie. Come on. It always depends a little bit on what you're looking for. I'm just going to slap you there for now. 
Uh, we do need granaries and storehouses as well. I think we'll do the church on this side because it's a little higher, like uphill. Perhaps. The granary makes more sense to be on this side where the food is, though. I'll tell you what. Granary there. I'm going to put a storehouse here. I'm going to put a well in between them. I can't. I don't love that location. I ain't sold on it. Lock the forest with the church in the manor. Manor Lord with his own hunting grounds. I'm still thinking about putting the manor up here. <laughs> kind of on the edge of town. Have it as like literally the entrance into this zone. I could. Oh, I could actually put the manor here and have the walls go over all of these roads. So people have to go through the manor walls in order to come into town. Unless they go through this little forest path for bandits. It's cute. I don't mind it. Sadly, we got to spend a lot of our resources building this granary and the storehouse. You got a pantry. Dudes, why not perhaps open up a food stall? In the old marketplace, bring your berries into market. Nobody's bringing nothing right now. So, if I was to say... Something like that. That'd be real nice. Eight spots, four good vegetable gardens. That feels strong to me. Let's just wait for the wood. Just survive the winter. That's the key. That's for the first year. It's just survive the winter. Start getting more worried about everything else after that. Get to check the level of the foundation. Ba -ba -bum. Get cooking. Ugh, ironically enough, that's not going to get me the upgrade I need for the settlers' camp, though. That's okay. We're going to make more houses anyway. That could be blacksmiths. Uh, Burgage plot doesn't really seem to matter for anything outside of apple orchards and carrots. I don't think it actually adds more value. Some good vegetable plots is definitely going to be key for us staying alive here, though. Yeah, I think let's do this. And then we'll just put the bloomery on the other side. Why do I have to carry Bring the iron right out. Change priority houses. Eh. 
I suppose we could. Let them work their way through. Get rid of some of this homelessness. Hopefully drag all of these stuff out of the homeless people's tents. I think the tents just disappear once you have enough of them. Oh man, these guys got loads of food coming in. Good food and leather. Pass me the hammer, will you? And then what do we need? We need a church as well. Ah, we're going to need planks for the church. F chaos. Uh, I do want to slap vegetable gardens in these right away, especially as it's summertime. I don't know whether or not they will actually build them quick enough to give us a little extra food. But it's the hope! Here we go. Now they all got an order. Bandits stole berries. Where do we have bandits to? Way over here. There's a handful of brigands. A pack of outlaws. Oh, that's cool. Have a little brouhaha. Bandits will spawn if your approval rating like gets too low because people will leave your town and turn to banditry. Which rules? <laughs> Whoa, this is heavier than it looks. All right, plan is pretty much just get all of this up and online. Get that approval rating up. Get some food coming in. Clothing, fuel, and church. I mean, all of these guys should have... Yeah, firewood, meat, berries. They should be bringing stuff in. I think right now we're probably still dragging a lot from... Oh, I thought maybe we'd be dragging a lot from up there, but maybe not. All right, so. Wild animals. Hunters can skillfully lay traps in the forest, which give a passive income of meat. Meat harvest by hunters and butchers is doubled. And hunters also collect hides from traps. Okay. Charcoal converts firewood into charcoal, which is going to be really, really useful for having access to blacksmiths. But I think we're a little bit off that right now. I am more concerned about food at the moment. I don't know that hides is going to be a problem, but we could go trapping, skinning. We did one, two, three, four. We'd have two points left, so we could go basic armor and armor making, or we could go trade logistics and better deals. Master armor making, I, I don't actually think is something that you need right now, because plate armor is so cheap to buy. I think we're going to pick up trapping. Armament delivery. A strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. A shipment of weapons has arrived and you'll be able to create your first militia banners to serve and protect your people. We need more weapons and equipment as more people in settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. 
We were given large shields and spears. So a spear militia is our first militia. Which we still don't have a lot of. We only have 10 of them. They can't do much. Trade is going to be really important. You are correct. We all know what that means, huh? I do like the fact of us like getting a lot of hide means that we can make shoes very easy. But we're going to need flax for Gambison's cloaks. Or pretty much any of the things that tailors make. Clothes as well, I think, are also made out of flax. Like linen. A new bandit camp! Just to the south. Ooh, okay. Okay. Just like our natural roads. You can really see them nicely in the map view. This feels like a nice bustling trade hub. I suppose all of this lower section of the forest we could also grow into. Maybe the church should go here and the manor goes here. Or the manor goes here as like part of the... Yo, you know what? I might actually do that. I might, I might put the manor here. As it's kind of like facing the other provinces. And it's like right next to all the blacksmiths and stuff. So it feels like it's, it's being supplied with the weapons right away. All right, I also need to expand living spaces on basically all of these locations. Because ain't nobody's going to move in until we start getting more houses. All right, we got the storehouse. Granary is waiting on a few more rocks. I'll let that get built before I start upgrading all of these guys. Ah, uh, you know what? We need a tanner. I was wondering why we weren't getting clothing, and then I was forgetting. Um, that the hides still need to be tanned. We'll put it down low. Can we make money selling all the excess and import with the trade tree? Yeah. Yeah, the trade tree is like really, really powerful the way it um the way it reduces all import prices by 10. Really, really turns things around. Excellent. Okay. Gonna start growing out all of these locations. They have some extra bodies on them. Don't really need the tannery until these are made because we can't have anybody to work it. Today, Ox. So, little woodcutter. 
some logging, some stone cutting. We've got our nice houses on the left where everybody's working away in the farms. Make sure we eat. A couple of houses on the right, which will be working the iron that'll be coming right out of that pit. I don't think I've ever actually looked at the iron pit up close. Just a big hole. Oh, we haven't actually finished building this. The tiny little marketplace. As things start getting built around. Can you arm yourself? No, sadly not yet. This part of the game is still very work in progress. Like, you also always look like this guy. Look at me. Look at me. No. No, I can't. I won't. Can I get a screenshot of him facing the camera? How impossible would that be? Come on, come on. <laughs> no shot. You know, technically, I'm like an old man with a big mustache and a suit of armor, so... Dude's got a sweet cape. He does. Ain't no denying that. Ain't no denying that at all. Yeah, dudes, they've been doing good work on this forest. Cutting that back way faster than I anticipated. I might actually move one of these. I guess I'll wait until after winter and then I'll probably move the uh, the woodcutters camp over to this side. Chickens agent, we need them eggs. Well, we have berries and we have meat and we have vegetables. In theory. Apparently we don't have any meat. Everybody's too busy. Plow in the fields. We're actually doing pretty rough on lumber. Feels like we should be getting in a lot more meat than we have been. Oh, this is heavier than it looks. But I suppose all things with time. Get a bit of extra living space. We don't have the homelessness anymore, so as we start getting in a little bit of food. A little bit of food variety. And things like clothing. We should start getting a bit better. I think it would be a good idea to start queuing up the church. Except we don't have a saw pit. So I'm going to do exactly like I said and move this little lumberjack. Forty nine firewood there. Oh. Some resources disappear when it's getting cold. So we're gonna run out of berry deposits. We can pull them off of the berries and put them somewhere else, like chopping wood for the winter. Don't really want that firewood to get soaked. So we might try hauling someone over to that. I already got two arms. Why would I need any more? 
Well, you raise a valid point. All right, I'm going to do the most dangerous thing of all, which is pull somebody off of this forager's hut. I'm going to hope... Yeah, so they take this little cart around. Do they also gather berries? Transporting hides. No, okay. Yeah, I have to move all that firewood. Before I can build my saw pit. So the armorer's workshop will make helmets. And the blacksmith will make tools, spears, and sidearms. So that's what we'll do. We'll put a blacksmith in there and the armorer there. If the hides and the tanning is coming in from over here... We can put the cobbler's workshop in. Why do I Honestly, we could do something like just put it in there. Make it like one big house. I'll wait until the, the fire cutters chop some of these trees down because they will start handling that. Okay, I think everything from up here is at least gone and moved, it looks like. Now we just got to survive the winter, which doesn't really look like it's going to be a problem. 42 berries, meat... One of the really nice things about having the um, the wild animals is that we're still getting meat even during the winter time. Unlike berries, which are so, so temporary. And I got a feeling if we take the thing that gives these guys double replenishment, we could probably put two hunting camps up here. Could definitely add a second hunter. Without it. Because they do not seem to be struggling to get that stuff down. We are struggling to keep up the approval rating. I think we might end up moving the logging camps down here. Wouldn't be terrible. And then if we wanted to, we could actually build a road out and build like a little circle district or something. Bandits. Stealing all my goods. I don't even have enough militia to protect me. I'm useless. Uh, I suppose we could build this right away. Another bandit camp sighted. To our west. This is in the farmland we want to take. We need for this. We need planks and we need stone. Yeah, we really got to get the approval rating up so that we can get some more people to move in. We have the extra housing. We just need the approval spike. 
A band of raiders roaming nearby land. Should we track their steps? We have one year until we are attacked. In the meantime, the Baron has hired a bunch of mercenaries, the flock of crazy geese. So these guys are going to come in and they're going to start wiping out bandit camps. Which gives them access to like early influence to claim other zones. Might as well get these clay pits started as well. Not that there's a lot of clay in there, but we'll need it eventually. All right. So I'm going to pull somebody off that storehouse and I'm going to put them back on the foraging hut. It is springtime. Berries are coming in. We got berries. We got meat. The logging camp is maxed right now, so I'm actually going to pull someone off of that and put them on the tanner. Because that'll at least get us clothing stalls. Fingers crossed. That ends up being all we need to get the approval rating up. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, I think the manor right here is perfect. Right next to the mine, right next to the bloomery, the blacksmith. That'll feel really fitting. Doubles the amount of meat harvested by hunters and butchers and from goat pens. Do you get meat from goat pens? I thought you just got hides. I was not aware of that. I thought they only provided hides, not hides and meat. This deposit is going down a little bit. But I suppose it'll go up once we take the policy. 51. All right, 53. Let's just start doing it. Clothing, market. Those rulers are, in fact, hunting bandit camps. But I tell you what they're not doing is they're not clearing them out. Where are they going? They cleared out this one. <sighs> we could be sneaky right now. If we take our army, we have strength, morale, fatigue, and effectiveness, attack and defense multiplier. We have a hard time fighting uphill. What are our guys got? They are literally just a bunch of farmers in cloth with spears and shields. If we march to this bandit, whoa, to this bandit camp, you don't need to run there. We should be able to loot that bandit camp without a fight. Because these guys are clearly going off the map. 
They wiped out the bandit camp there. They wiped out whatever the other bandit camp is. And they've just, they killed the bandits without actually taking that one out. I really, I really hope we're not about to die. This does pull 10, <laughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, this does pull 10 people out of our city working jobs. Which is kind of harsh. But the reward will be worth it. If we can capture a bandit camp for free. Yeah, the bandits are all gone. I like the thought that it's like the mercenaries found the bandits, but not their actual base. When searching through the enemy's belongings, you find a stash of goods. They can be sent to your people who need them, although you could also keep them yourself. We're going to send the resources to the nearest town, which gets us 126 regional wealth. Which means we can get another vegetable plot. These guys aren't ready for upgrades yet. Chickens and goats. Chickens would be good. We just somehow gained another 126 regional wealth. Let's go. Let's get a trade post. Let's get a trade post up and running ASAP. Uh, okay. We said that the church was going to go here, but we don't have any planks. Said I was going to move this logging camp. And I also then need to build a saw pit to go with it. When are we revolting? Have we started gathering pitchforks yet? No, a lot of spears, but not so many pitchforks. Just a forester's hut would not be a bad idea either, but we just don't really have the people to work it right now. Uh, these guys are back in town, so we can disband them. Forty-one out of forty. Okay, yeah, the hunters are working real good, real well. Uh, I think let's upgrade Herb Garden there when we get the planks as well. You guys are all here. We should probably move. I'm going to move the hitching post to there. Baby steps for everything. We have six families and 12 houses, so lots of room for people to move in, as long as we can keep this um, approval up. Which shouldn't be too hard. We have one extra family. I'm going to throw them on stone cutting right now because we're going to need it for the church. Keep working that approval. Families will come. If we build it, they will come. Why do I have to carry this? One for the saw pit. And hopefully we won't have to move this logging camp for a while because it could eat all this pretty effectively.
Okidoki. Okidoki. Is there a logging camp? Now, no one's working the logging camp right now, but we have like 27 logs in storage up here. Already up to five planks. Let's spend the money and upgrade that forager's hut and the planks right away. That way we just ensure nobody gets sick. Have I seen horses yet? Yeah, they're in the trader's house. Another ox is not a bad... Yeah, actually. Uh, we would need to upgrade the hitching post to a small stable, but we can also afford that. We have the planks now. New families moving in. Put you on that log. Well, don't feed the ox a handful of old grain. Hope he learned his lesson. Can you equip the units with horses? No, not yet. There's no cavalry yet. Poor quality, he said. Impossible. I hope that they plan to edit. It seems like a naturally good choice. There is a lot of stuff that we, like, haven't seen yet. I mean, we have, like, a lot of locked tech trees still. And these tech trees may grow even further. Policies, we don't even know. And the production screen literally has nothing on it right now. Fresh meat. Get your fresh meat here. There is certainly room for, like, horses in here. These look like javelins. I've also never seen javelins. I've never seen crossbows. Come on, laddie. I do not think either exists yet. So you said let's order another ox. I think that's a great idea. Up to 70. It's not bad. We definitely still need way more for the saw pit, but... Heard a YouTube video mentioning cavalry? I don't think it's in here yet, but I do think it is planned. Official artwork as a knight on a horse. It'll probably be added later. Yeah, I mean, I would be surprised. You can buy horses. Um, they're currently only for... Um, traders. There's oxes, horses, and mules. Oh yeah, I suppose we could also grow sheep here. We can't farm, but we could do sheep. Think about that. Twenty-eight months of fuel, nineteen months of food, dude. Let's have some families start moving in. It's time. It's time for more families. All this stuff is moved, so I could actually expand these burgers plots out. Now. Do I want them to be anything in particular? planks you use planks ale bakery tailors i feel like i want two more burgers plots here to also be blacksmiths i know that kind of seems crazy but i'm gonna build them like that for just right now And then I think I'm going to end up building a little road. Oh, this is all like a cliff face. Good underground water back here as well. 
What if I met the edge of this cliff? And we built some nice houses back here. Nothing crazy. Mostly thinking about chicken coops. We put in like five chicken coops pretty easy. They do have topography, yep. Yeah. Because you can't build too steep. Can I upgrade the roads with cobblestone? No, not yet. Not yet. I it it feels like to me probably as you start hitting later town upgrades, like as you expand from small village to probably small town, it'll do things like start automatically upgrading roads. Um, eventually. Again, we're still like going into early access, so not quite yet, but get the church built and keep approval about 75. Don't insta upgrade the plots. Yeah, I'm still waiting on the planks. I need 20 planks for that church. I guess I would do this for five because what I really want is the eggs here. And I don't think bigger burgages give better eggs. That would give me six. Have I not been to the late game yet? Uh, I have been. I, there's not that much late game right now because of the early access. So like the late game is really just like having an army and, and wandering around. Point was more approval. As soon as you upgrade the homes, approval drops. They have more demands. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All right. We are going to build these houses. We are going to egg it up. We're going to get egged. Egg. And then, yeah, I think I'll just have, like... I guess I could put a well back there. Or a well here. Where is our well right now? It's over there. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. No, I'll leave it. Put a well there or a well there. It doesn't really make a difference. Thought this was the full game. No, no, no. It's still only early access. Come on, Come along. Oh, topography besides when you're building. Um, there is a big effect on armies. So, for example, if your armies are, like, moving downhill, they'll get a bonus to their effectiveness. If they're running uphill, they'll take, like, a negative to their effectiveness. What do we need for this? Burger's Plus level 2 or higher, too. I always seem to struggle with planks. And I think the main reason why is because I don't have a permanent livestock assigned here. I'm hoping we start seeing a change with that. Now we got stone cutters. I'm going to throw someone on that mining pit right now. So that we can start getting a little bit of extra. Play in and we can get rid of that pretty soon. Stone deposits almost done, so... Lots of stuff planned that's not in this build. Yeah. And that's the thing is also the build that goes live on the 26th is different than the build we have. We have like the the press kit, creator kit. And my understanding is that the early access build on the 26th is going to have some more on top of that. Come on, Come on. Okay. So you guys are making planks again. Good. 
Good, good. Lots of people constructing. As long as we have lots of food and fuel, there's no reason not to be building more houses. A map filter that shows it like underground water. Uh, oh, no, there's not like a, a topography overlay. It's just when you go into... When you go in to build something, you can see the topography. And it's very subtle. Most of the world is flat. There are some places, um, like I think Nusselhof. Yeah, like there is cliffs and stuff here. Goldhof is being claimed up here. Okay. It'd be hard for us to um, build up and take this place early. Bandit camp. Are you bandits? You're brigands. You're mercenary brigands. Uh, this looks like they cleared this bandit camp. They totally did. But then didn't take the loot. Hmm? Item ID 228 being added to inventory. So we should be able to go up there and steal uh, that extra bit of cash as well. Which is very excellent. Bit hilly. It's a bit hilly. I mean, I'm assuming it's like Bohemia. Right? The, the the visual style of, like, the aesthetic of the buildings is very medieval ages Bohemia. Or early medieval ages Bohemia. You know, 20 spearmen. I could probably take brigands on my own with these guys. Send it to the town. Another 147 wealth. Not to be scoffed at. All right. We have enough for the church. Beautiful. I love it. Uh, I am going to put it on low priority, though, because I am more concerned with these houses. Especially as they already have all of the materials delivered. Here come our goons. Let's disband them. They can get back to town, back to work. A big map with big rivers and the sea. Oh, yeah. Especially if we started getting cool, like, uh, I don't know, fish, the ability to, like, fish, get into lakes. Oh, that's cool. See, like, all the fence posts being laid out. Obviously, sea combat would also be really nice. All right. All of these are going to be chickens back here. Because we've got the cash from it from killing all these bandits. Which is so tasty. Early bandit money is hyper, hyper good. So that'll give us even more food now, too. We'll have berries, we'll have meat, we'll have vegetables, and we'll have eggs. That ain't too shabby, babby. You know what I think we need is a little shrine. Just to make sure people know. A little traveler's shrine. Across from the church. Q. 
keep people on track. Uh, that church is going up super fast. I love to see it. We're almost through all the stone. That church is up and running, baby. We'll give it a big juicy bell. It's time to get the blacksmithing up and running. I got three extra families right now. Two of them are going to get taken. We have literally just the perfect amount of people. To start making spears or whatever else we need. Spears and shields, I suppose, are the big ones right now. Uh, which does mean... We're going to need access to, like, joinerers. I suppose we'll start building some homes out this way soon. That is kind of the next natural path. Uh, this will promote us to a medium village as well once we get these two guys going. Bags, grocery, <laughs> grocery store bags of cabbages. Hello, Greyhound Girl. How are you? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our mana. How are you? Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you're doing well. Folks, if you don't know Emily, she is a fantastic streamer. Absolutely lovely. Plays all sorts of great games. Just a joy. We met at TwitchCon last year. It was a lot of fun. Hung out. Chilled. Vibed. How is everybody? Aslin, Cromulin, Big Wolf Chris. How are you all? Welcome on in. Mia, good to see you. Also got to meet you at TwitchCon last year. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I see you're playing a little Manor Lords as well. How are you finding it? We just started up a new village this morning because uh, last time we were playing, we weren't on the combat map. So there wasn't too much combat to do. So we've got ourselves a little hunting mining village right now. And we're, we're just starting to gear ourselves up to unlock things like the blacksmiths. Get some spears going. And actually, I suppose I better unlock basic armor making. For this other guy. Bada boom. Bada bam. Welcome on in, Sister Kylo. Really like it. It's so cozy. It is. I really love just going into this mode and wandering around, like just trailing a villager for a day, hanging out with my ox, seeing what's happening. It's very peaceful. And the music is so good. So I guess this is our blacksmith. Can we actually... Oh, cool. Yeah. I actually see him working away. Making tools. Or spears, maybe. This guy's all raising chickens behind. Oh, I like that they'll actually go out through, like, the back gates as well to get around. That's cool. Love it. Can't confirm. Chill dude in person. Thank you so much. I try. I try my best. I know what game I'm buying. It's, it's so far so good. I'm really excited to see, like, where they plan to go with it. But it's been very clear that, like, they've done a good job thus far. So I'd be surprised if they don't continue to do a good job or keep continue trying to do a good job. Uh, we're being attacked by raiders in 60 days. Can we get a manor built in that amount of time? This is a very bold question.
Getting a manor will let us get a little retinue going. That's all I want you to castle plan at the moment. We're going to add pieces on here. Very piecemeal. Instead of building the castle all at once, I'm going to do it bit by bit. Awfully nice of the raiders to give them. We're tracking the raiders. So we found out that we were going to be raided and we sent someone to go track the raiders, which is why we have a little, a little notification. They weren't just like, hey, dudes. Don't mind us. We're just going to be showing up in a couple of days. Vibing, chilling. Doing a little plundering. It's all good. Oh, yeah, I guess we're going to need a little less important considering the immediate issue going on, but we are going to need a clay furnace here. Just turned on super low priority. Do you think we have the setup ready to produce more equipment? We have enough to get spears. What I'm actually missing right now is shields. So I should switch this to pole arms. Because pole arms do not require shields. Policies unlocked. And taxes. So we can turn on hunting grounds now. Wild animals on rich deposits breed twice as fast. But our crops are trash. But that's fine for us because we have all these wild animals up here. By the way, we're going to attack you next Thursday. If Thursday doesn't work, we can push it to Friday just because we like plundering you so much. Ever so much. Uh, so, yeah, now we have access to a retinue as well. These guys are a little bit better. They have like chainmail, sidearms, and pole arms. I think. And you can get them like heavy plate mail. But it takes a bit. Uh, if I was to give you something like this garrisoned tower. Oh, I don't even have enough wood for that. Clearly, we're at least building lots of stuff. All right. Does anybody not have a job? Yeah, lots of people don't. Nobody's really working the storehouse or the granary. That storehouse is maxed up at the moment. So why don't we get that built? We should also bigify this granary. How does one get shields? You need to build a joiner? I believe they're called. A joiner's workshop. Where you can make wooden person shields. Thursday it is. Can't push it to the weekend because it's our turn to have the kids and we didn't want to bring them with us this time. Yeah, uh, I don't know. We got in a lot of trouble the last time we brought the kids on a raid. Probably best we don't do it again. Did I start this playthrough for four today? Uh, we uh, we did a different playthrough on Friday. So we just did like a peaceful settlement on Friday. And this playthrough we just started brand new today. Hot and fresh out the kitchen. It is our remix edition. I'm finding it very good, honestly. It's like peaceful but challenging. It's hard to like manage the needs of everybody especially as your town starts to grow i've gotten a town up to about 200 population before and it's it's if you don't plan it out it starts to struggle it starts to become pretty difficult at that size i'm wondering where to build a forester on this map Eh, 
And whether or not... Because I need to plant trees eventually. And I'd like to plant them in a way that they have like years to grow. So I'm actually like, I think I'm going to put him out here. All right, we just got another bandit camp. It is directly below us. But we're being attacked in six days. So let's, uh, let's gear up and prepare up for that instead. We got a handful of polar ambrose. It's not too bad. We got a decent army here. 30, 36 troops. I am going to be an aggro lord. Yeah, we're going to we're going to be pretty aggro in this campaign. The eventual goal is to wipe out uh, uh, this this guy who's who's moving in a lot of mercenary troops. So as we get bigger, we'll start going to war with him. 21, 22. Wow, we actually need more housing. He's finally chopping down these trees. I wanted to build a couple of small houses over here for a cobbler. Just a wee bit of cobbling. The tiniest backyard plots, if I built that. Maybe I can make this look nicer. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Vegetables, get your daily dosage. So that would be like a cobbler and maybe a tailor. Enemy unit has been spotted. A band of raiders will seen near Nusselhof. Nusselho. Where were they spotted to? Brigands. Here they come. So these are the brigands that are going to attack us. And I believe there are multiple troops. We just can't see them all. All right, they got a little bit to come. Mission completed. No, mission is not completed. I still, I still see them coming. Fool me once. Shame on me. Still no logs for you because I keep building other things. All right, soldiers. Let's get our army up and running. Get them. Never get duped. So this is our professional army. All five of them. <laughs> then we have our spear homies. Ah, you can see our blacksmith has been making helmets. So a bunch of these dudes now, instead of just having like arming caps, actually have iron helms. Yeah. And then we got Polar Ambrose as well. My leash. Definitely don't want anybody running. My lord. Zog, zog. Brigands don't understand we're bringing the pain. I mean, I hope we're bringing the pain. Where are they? 
There might just be 18. They do attack in bigger armies as time goes on. I mean, I guess I just stretch these guys out all the way. All right, so our effectiveness is based on our cohesion is a little low. We have good home region bonuses. We're climbing up terrain. So actually, if we were to move right about here, Those bandits are going to have to climb up this hill. And they'll take a bunch of cohesion penalties from this. So by the time they reach our army, who's going to run down the hill at them? We'll have a big buff in the combat. At least this is my understanding of how it works. Maybe we could fight them like right here. Can I join them? Oh. oh, I wish you could fight alongside your soldiers. Even if it was just like an automatic, like you just attack whoever's closest to you. Oh man, we got the blacksmith up on the helmets right in time. Not much in the way of armor. But at least our boys like have some protection. Is there terrain view? Do you have to look around a bit with the camera? You just have to kind of like look around a bit with the camera. If you go into build mode, you can see that topography, but that's sort of it. No, you guys are my retainers, my standing army, but you don't really look. Oh, interesting. They all have side arms as well. Like this guy's got a pole arm and a sword. This guy's got a pole arm and a sheath but no sword. Same here. This guy's got the sheath, but no sword. All right, they're coming in. We got to move. Oh, no, there are. There are a bunch of them. There's more than one unit attacking here. Oh. Oh. The nearby Baron hired a bunch of mercenaries. He's trying to take my glory. Oh. That scoundrel. He's stealing my glory. We got to find that other group of bandits. Oh, they're running. All right, we don't, we don't have fought these guys. It's a terrible idea. Curse. Curse be these dastardly dogs. Where are they? It's really hard to see inside the forest. Like, you actually have to be really close to them. Clearly some good ability to set up, like, ambushes. They must be going for that brigand camp, is what they're doing. Unbelievable. I can't believe he stole my fight. Oh, 
All of our dweebs just got to go back to work. Nobody gets to duel to the death. What a waste. Can you dress up the guy and make him fight? Not yet. It is very like very early in development expect glitches. It says in huge big red letters when you press that. So I'm hoping we see some advancements on that front. Though it may be some time. can't believe he stole that army. Hopefully he'll kill these bandits and then not take this camp. And that is... No, he's going to take the camp. Yeah. Darn. Something for some more free money. You also get influence, I think, when you, when you destroy bandit camps. So it's kind of worth doing. It's... It's valuable. Uh, I got to put a second guy in the logging camp because I seem to be not able to keep up with my plank creation right now. Uh, the stone cutting is done, so we can pull this guy off stone cutting. And... We could destroy the stone cutter camp, but right now the materials in it are at least safe. So we'll throw him on the storehouse instead. And I'm going to put a second hunter up as well. Playing this and then zooming in to fight Bannerlord style, it'd be so tight. Again, even if it was just like you can stand in combat, like if you could move your troops and then just like auto attack things next to you, that would be all I'd want. I don't need a complex, like, actual fighting mechanic if it's a bit more about the the leading of your troops. Or even just being able to, like, lead them from that menu. From that that view. Lionheart, hello, dude. Welcome on in. I know you're hooked on the Bannerlord as well. How are you? Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you for bringing your viewers on in. Come on in, folks. If you like strategy games, which I'm assuming you do, if you're coming from Lion, then welcome. You're in a great spot. We cover lots of strategy games, lots of indie titles here. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Let me give my good boy the shouts. You guys were also hard on the Manor Lord. Yeah, I thought so. Had to raid and run. Oh, that's okay. I, it's his typical style. I don't mind at all. You got to eat after a good stream. Wards, Neurosis, Bus Driver, Dark Side, Arcane, Pizza, Column Hound, come back, kid. Thank you all for the follows. Welcome on in. Welcome to the agency. We are hard on Bannerlord. We just started a brand new village today. We were playing a little bit last week, and uh, I wasn't on the combat scenario, so I decided we're going to start a new one today. We are actually focusing on mining and wild animals, on hunting. Uh, we have a zero good farmland in our opening territory. So I've decided to go not farming based. We have our vegetable gardens. We have our chicken farms. But otherwise, we're just trying to put bandits to the sword and hopefully start expanding soonish. The other Baron has just taken his first territory at Goldhof. We want to move in here to Walden Brand because this is actually incredible farming territory for us. It is the most green I have ever seen a zone ever. Literally 100% triple plus on Rye. So we're going to turn that into a farming settlement, but... And Big Wolf Chris, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in, dudes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we actually just fought our first bandit raid. Um... And by fought, I mean we raised our army. They all hung out. <laughs> they were ready to attack in a beautiful defensive position at the top of this hill. And then a bunch of mercenaries came along and slaughtered the bandits for us. Which was a little... A little disappointing. But it was okay. Uh, we're making shields. No, we're making helmets. We're making spears. We're not making shields, but we need to be. 
You guys are both going to be tailors. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. Need more logs. Man, this logging camp is just going to work. Firewood. I'm actually wondering whether or not we should build another set of stables. Somewhere. Could I sneak a road right here and build snables in the back? I absolutely could. You know what? I might be able to fit multiple sets of stables if I do this smart. So we're thinking about just throwing a few little hitching posts. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love this. This works perfect. That's my storehouse. That's my granary. If we have all of our stables right behind. We have one of them over here. Which is tucked away nicely. And we're going to start building the uh, expansion to the manor as well. New logging camp or plank place. We need the resources. We're doing okay on planks. Loggies, not so much. This guy's planting new trees up here. I could put a logging camp down here. What I'm hoping is that they just start taking, chunking away at this section and this section. Will I even be able to build here with a steep slope? Once we have some logs, perhaps. Little manor overlooking the village. I like that this has managed to get up on like just the tiniest bit of a crest of a hill. It just sort of sits above everything else. And we got the veggies. We got the eggs. We got meat. Lots of berries. Honestly, we're sitting really good on food. Uh, I do need that cobbler up and running. Which is this upgrade. Both of these upgrades. You guys were going to be a cobbler and... Hmm. I guess probably the tailor. Let them cobble. We have not figured out where we want to put the trading post yet. and But I feel like right next to this church is literally the only spot... That possibly makes sense. I could take it right in and then just like move the road up. Ah, oh, the music's so good. <laughs> I like that. It makes enough sense for me. Manor Lords is awesome. Everything in a game you could want. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty satisfying. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm also going to just immediately expand the living space so we have more people available to work in that cobbler shop. I'm overbuilding a little bit right now, but it's okay. We catch up. It's not like we're that behind.
For example, I can also upgrade the church, and we should do that ASAP. I think once we get the next set of logs, that's what we'll go for. Sitting on 350 bucks. I'm hesitant to make this guy a tailor because I just don't know. I think gambesons are double linen, cloaks are linen and dye, and clothes are just single linen. And I, I, just because I don't have any linen because I don't have any flax. Now, I could start like importing some, but not really until I'm exporting stuff. I guess we could save our money to open up trade routes. That's probably the best thing we could do. As we start making just an inordinate amount of spears and sidearms. And tools. Tools is a really good one to trade. We're worth six going out. Ah, sidearms are worth eight. Ah, yeah, but they're double value. Yeah, all right. I'm going to end up setting up a tool trade route. It'll be for a little bit later, like once we start like really capping out on everything, but um, I have the money now, so I'm just going to do it. And I'm also going to do shoes because you always cap out on shoes really early. Eighty-four percent approval. You would love to see it. Another ox, maybe. I do want to upgrade that stable. Oh, you're not on snap to rose. That's what's happening. Let's do it. They're one wood each. I'll make that sacrifice. I'm going to upgrade that church. Ooh, there's a lot happening. All of this is cut. So this is all going to be burgage plots. Heavy housing. I'm gonna go 10 and 5. So we'll start getting some money in and we'll start getting some slow influence. But it adds up over time, especially as you start making more and more food. Trade point that locks trade to 20 to 5. Yeah, the problem is, is you only get a maximum of six development points per zone. And I need deep mining. So I need to go charcoal and deep mining. I'd like male armor. So that's four points right there which means I can't get better deals. I could get trade logistics, but I can't get better deals. So I think that's going to be one, two, three, four, five. And then the sixth point is probably going to be advanced skinning, double meat harvested. That makes the most sense to me. I have 158 vegetables, 145 berries, 87 eggs, and still zero meat. I think I'm going to turn these guys on hunting limit 20. As I assume... That's wild, man. The fact that I have hunting grounds here... And it's still like two hunters bleed this dry. I'm assuming that the more wild animals you have, the more babies it produces. Okay, sick. All right, we got a bandit camp. It's near us. Mercenaries are also coming in trying to get it. But... We have an army now. I 
I want to try to beat him to that mercenary camp, to that bandit camp. Because this is the best way to get influence. And we can always have more sons. Raise more men to die out on the battlefield in the name of our Lord. You know, it gotta be reasonable. Mega worth. Nemke, good morning. Let's definitely buy those oxes. Now, I don't know that I'm going to be able to beat him to this. But I'm going to try my damnedest. Without running. This is the problem. is I could run, but our guys will get super fatigued and then die in the, in the combat. Too many weapons? I don't know about that. Haven't seen Manor style combat. Is it like Total War? Very much so. It's like a much smaller scale, but like more refined, it feels. It's got some things it does better, some things it's not quite doing as well yet. I have a lot of unemployed people. Yeah, nobody's digging up enough iron yet for the bloomery. So let's get them going. Ah. Uh, they're going to beat me to the brigands, but they might not beat me to the camp. Yeah, they beat me to the brigands. Uh-oh. I'm going to take this myself. 100 bucks. They're claiming Nusselho? Is that the center region? Aichenho. Zwao. Waldbrand. Okay, no, they're claiming this one. So that's good. That means we still have time to claim Waldbrand for ourselves. Problem is, is it's proving very difficult to do. Uh, once we build the church, we'll get a huge bump in influence. And if I can expand the manor, I think we will also get a huge bump in influence. Should I build the tax office off this building as well? I mean, that does kind of feel like appropriate. It's a good fit. Yeah, that works. I need to build some walls and gates. But I ironically enough don't have all the outer towers to do it. So let's tuck one of you in there. And then I'll probably do one like back here. Here. I actually don't have enough wood for this yet, so I'm just going to chill. Try not to rush too much. Total War seems overwhelming. It can absolutely be. A lot happening in Total War all the time. Uh, with 125 treasury... One of the things we can do is start putting more guys into our retinue. 
I think they cost 50 a piece to add a new guy into the retinue. But they are professional soldiers. And to take this, I just need a thousand influence. We're at 509 with the new church upgrades. We never did build this second logging camp. Let me get that started. <laughs> I love this. The forester's hut is just have this like thick forest growing around it. Comically big bushy forest. I like that it kind of guards our town. Like we're just completely surrounded by forest. Uh, these dudes can all disband. And then we can come in here. And we can add two new guys to the retinue. The other thing is you can also spend retinue money. Um, I'll do this once just so we can see it. Who looks like a G? This guy does. You can import plate mail armor. So they get the sick hound skull helmet. Which I ever so love. You take a red new member, whoever looks the most deadly. Well, I think we know who that is. Kunrad. He's yours. Hydro check. A little bit left. We'll have to go get some water in a bit, but wait a minute. Now, uh, we have 28, 36 families and only 28 homes. That can't make any sense. I think we need some new houses. My dudes. One, two, three, four, five. I know I said I'm trying to upgrade that manor, but... It's hard when you need houses too. I suppose this road ought to connect to these guys. Crazy system I have going here. Yeah, I guess this logging camp and this saw pit might need to move. Mining pit is exhausted, so there's no longer a need for that guy to work the clay mines. <clears throat> now. We do get to debate what we want to start growing in these places. Or building in these places. I do not yet have a joiner. To build shields. These are also very good vegetable plots. Which, while I don't need now, I will need later. Why don't I build... I tell you what. Why don't we build, like... I could put a joiner and another woodworker up here. Try to do it along like the edge of this. Um... Let's 
terrain. I really want this one log to get moved. There is no way to prioritize like what logs people take to do things. But I feel like that would be a good spot, especially if this is where we have the forestry hut right now. Brewer is going to be needed. Yeah. I have not left any good room for the tavern. I guess I could put it here. How much clay do we have left? Forty-four clay. All right, so soon we'll be done all that. Have that turned into roof tiles, and we can get rid of that furnace. Uh, this woodcutter's log, I could easily move. To so many places, and then the tanner. I'll probably switch him and put him like right here, so I could put the um, the tavern right here next to the church. I'd allow that. I can allow that. EA, what's in your wallet? Tavern next to the church is never going to cause problems? No way. The monks used to make all the booze. It's a natural fit. Let's overexpand. And yeah, I think I'm going to make all these vegetable gardens. Fuel is what I'm hurting on the most right now, but my next development policy, we can get charcoal burning. Which feels smart. Feels smart. Oh, hey, look. They did it. They got rid of the one thing I was complaining about. Fine pies. Get your pies. The finest pies. Sold. And I can put a well right there. So that we have access to some more well water. Keep this logging camp down here. Could probably put a forester down here next to it. Or at the end of this road. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then we'll make this like the joiners and everything else. So if that's the case, I'm also maybe going to just slap a saw pit in there. Okay. We're growing. We're in beginning. Ostrichek, thank you so much. Oh, nobody. I missed your as well. Ready to serve in the retinue. Apologies, you know me, I can go blind sometimes. You got the axe guy. Well, let's give you this hammer, bro. Also named Coonrad. And I tell you what, let's give you some armor. Can't have my lads dying on me. No bandits showing up anytime soon. Not yet. We are going to have to do some serious fighting to take back all the territory from this Baron. It's very hard to get your influence up early. Six logs. Food, food, food. 
Good use of our cash. Lots of nice veggies. New families moving in. We keep growing, like, I feel like fairly effectively right now. Which I'm very glad to see. I think it'll be hard considering Yair's mercs every two darn seconds. Yeah, but, at, like, at a certain point, especially once you start getting all the trading up and running very effectively, things... You make money fast as the game goes on. Twenty nine helmets, forty two spears. I think I'm going to start making some sidearms. And yeah, then we'll start getting shields up here soon. I'm actually going to the highest priority that building. Seven months of supplies is pretty rock solid. We only need to upgrade a single additional Burgage plot. Which technically could be any of these. I guess. We start selling excess stuff? Yeah, yeah. So we should already be selling excess shoes. We are, in fact. And we will sell excess tools, which we're not actually making at the moment. But once we have enough, like, armaments, we'll start making tools just as, like, a trade good to get rid of. And we'll probably have to start importing certain things. Flax, maybe. Barley, definitely. We're not far off the imports. This is going to keep us fed very well. I feel extremely good about how well we're doing on food. Which is something I feel like I've never had in this game before, so. And we'll get charcoal really soon, too. Now, if only I could stop spending all of my logs immediately. Perfect. Settlement level increased. An excellent time. Not bad at all. Goats also provided meat. Yeah, it's not actually a terrible choice. I'm very excited. I'm very excited for us to get our influence up and be able to expand into this nearby location. Realizing that we're not doing any farming in this spot and trying to subsist off other needs, it should be able to like pump us up pretty far. But then like getting the trade route right over here into prime farming land. And all this barley, mm. the taverns are going to come online hard when that happens. So we have a point. There is advanced skinning, but I'm not really feeling bad about our meat situation right now. Uh, I'm not feeling bad about our food situation. Our meat situation is a bit rough. I think I'm going to go for the charcoal burning so that we can guarantee we get, like, super efficient fuel. And then this way we also, like, lead our way into deep mining so that our iron mine never runs out. Advanced armor making you don't really need until you have level 3 burgage plots. So let's do it. We're going to take charcoal burning. Now, where we build the charcoal burner. is another question entirely. I said I was going to move that tannery there. Let's set up a little bit of this.
This mining pit we can actually get rid of entirely. I'm kind of thinking uh, of like winding this road down in this direction and then building like another forestry slash logging zone here. Maybe actually moving this forestry logging zone to here. That would track. The only problem is, is this supply in the middle of the road. All right, well, we don't have to do it quite yet. Will these guys continue to go outside the line of trees here? Like, I want to know, will this keep growing further and further? Right now, his choice is a little strange. <laughs> uh, and you need to be upgraded and you need to be upgraded. Because that's going to be a joiners and a boyer. And then I'm never going to have planks again for the rest of the game. I'm going to start having a negative amount of planks. Quite literally. <laughs> you still need logs. Ten and four. I don't understand how that is. How does ten and four equal eighteen? Not even building walls there yet. All right, we got eggs getting soaked. Ought to upgrade this granary. I got like six families not doing anything right now, but we are going to start making some people here. So uh, the joiners workshop. Step one. And then we can start having shields, which means we can start actually making. I can basically fire all of these pole men and just turn them into spear militia. is probably going to be like the right choice. I should put somebody on this forestry hut. And I'm going to say your work area is like here. And I'll just keep keeping an eye on that one. Planting the trees really is something that like you got to think so far in advance for. All right, I think I'm going to do that literally just like this. I'll build the forestry hut like on the way in. This tannery can get destroyed. This woodcutter lodge. I'll put right there. And this logging camp. I'm going to move right there. Can I move the saw pit as well? I guess I better. So that all starts to shift. 
as we have 11 unassigned families. That's amazing. I love seeing that. Focus on Laird Shields. These guys are going to become Boyers. We need seven level two plots. Well, let's go with that guy then for now. Overbuild, overbuild, overbuild. Now we'll get I'm just gonna make sure everybody is assigned to all the right places. We are shy on booze everywhere, which is our next step. Uh, if we're done with clay, which I think we are. We have roof tiles. So we can get rid of the clay furnace. Except there's 173 roof tiles in there. So I'm going to put somebody on the storehouse first. Somehow I now have 53 timber, so let's upgrade uh, upgrade the castle a little bit. See if that works. Jimothy. Step right up and sample. Fritz, a notorious gambler, you will now become Jimothy. And we're actually up to 168 bucks, so I'm going to throw a few more guys in here. A retinue with 10. That ain't bad, especially if some of them got plate mail. Caffeine Fiend, hello. How's the caffeine? All right. God, this is the first time I've ever had three forestry huts up and running. <laughs> Look at her law. Charcoal kiln. Get that saw pit going. Get that lumber pit going. Uh, Bandit camp was sighted. As was a ruler's army. But this time he's on the other side of the map. So this group of outlaws is not that big. We're going to form an army and we're going to get our fight. I guess let's take everybody. Is it overkill? Yeah, probably. But I want to see our lads do a good job. So we're going to approach them from here. And we'll see how that works out. Today it is piping hot and delicious. Love it. Turg, if this is a Turgless campaign. I think it is a Turgless campaign at the moment. I can't. While the retinue is up, I can't rename anybody. As soon as we deal with these brigands. Red shirt number one. <laughs> I've actually been watching a lot of Star Trek The Next Generation for the first time ever. Very delightful show. I see why everybody enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, these guys are coming straight for me. Which is nice to see. So let's get ourselves a little line. Let's say right there. Do a little line of five, and then a little double line here. Foolish brigands march in the snow towards their doom. Uh, I definitely want to get up this hill. And 
then I think we're just going to be into the thick of it. All we've seen Jimothy is a lady's name. Granted, I've only seen it once. I don't think I've ever seen Jimothy used as a real name in real life. Rip their heads off. Rip their heads off. Banditos sneaking through the forest. Oh, there's our boys. Now, pretty simple when you're going up just against one little band of brigands. All right, they're clearly trying to get to my retinue. So I'm going to try to just fully encircle them right now. Where are you guys going? That's a strange strategy. This is going to be, it's going to be a bad time for these brigands. Effectiveness down to 16 minus 80% for being surrounded. Corpses near army power of recent losses. Gutted. All right, we'll send the retinue out to take on the camp. Our peasants can go back to town. Head back to the fields. These guys aren't even anywhere close. Many people naming their children Shaniqua and Axel. It's a weird name. For glory. Uh, I don't really need these guys to run to the bandit camp. They're going to get sleepy if they do that. But you can see like our couple of our guys in like the full plate. Oh, dude, I love these helmets. Hound skull helmets are so fun. They're definitely like the, you know, if I was a medieval helmet, what type of medieval helmet would I be? It's a hound skull. Back in town. We got a bunch of planks rotting in the snow. I have loads of people who are not working, which is a fantastic thing to see. I have a lot of money that I could be using to buy more oxes and horses. Uh, we cleared out the bandits. If the town doesn't need it, I'm going to take it myself because it means I can increase my retinue by another three troops. And then we'll send them back to town as well. You guys are back. Disband. Bills, poleaxes, just like that are great weapons. Yeah. So the, the, the poleaxes are, I think they take two. Two to make? No, one iron slab, one planks. So they're the same as spears, but the difference is, is that the pole arms are two-handed and the spears you can mix um, with heavy shields. So if you also have heavy shields, if you have a joiner. Oh my god. Is that for real? They went that way? All right. So I disbanded them the moment they crossed over. So instead of like just going to town, they all went down to the road and they're all going to walk around that way. Taking the long way home. So I'll push these guys up to the road. Change your joke name to Lancelot, please. Absolutely. I'll make sure he gets a nice pole arm. Lance isn't a very common name anymore, but in the past, people were named Lance. A lot. It's true. Well, well, back to the fields. Yes, my lord. Couple of hunters with their bows. Oh, we also have bows. Don't we? Did I make a Fletcher shop? Does nobody live here? <laughs> 
Yes. Nobody lives in the Fletcher shop or the Joiner's shop. I have two like fancy jobs here and we don't have any people to work them. Tragedy. True tragedy. Oof. I'm very hesitant to take those clay tiles out because I think they will get destroyed. Right, and I guess everybody was out working the war. There we go. Someone moved into the joiner shop. Uh, we are making $61 from taxes and 12 influence from the tithe. I am hoping once this manor gets upgraded, we'll get another boost in influence. All we need is a thousand to take our spot. We have negative two meat. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put a second guy in the charcoal kiln. Winter is over, but if we could start stockpiling that early. All right, rent new customization. We've got Lance a lot. Lance E lot. And we got Turg. Sword in hand. And we'll add three more people to that retinue. That retinue's turned out pretty good, dudes. Uh, the most people I can have in an army is 36. So... That means the most spears I'm ever going to want is 36 times 2. Marinara, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for Early 20 months. And extensive research. Agent comes at us with hard hitting science like charcoal good. Charcoal good. We've learned from many people freezing and dying in the winters that if we just make charcoal, charcoal good. Thank you so much, dude, for 20 months at tier three. A true maniac of the channel. I appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the Manor Lords. The retinue is your standing army. Yeah, yeah. So they're hired from like professional soldiers. Aha, okay. So my castle upgrades came in. So I can start making more castle upgrades. I don't really understand how garrison space works, but. Oh, I could find out in due time. All right, the real question. How expensive are these walls going to be? So far, the answer is looking like pretty expensive. Wow, I have enough to do it. Let's go. Big upgrades to the manor. 77 planks. And I still somehow have some left over. Uh, that upgrade should push us to a thousand influence. Is I, I think. Your work area. I want to be here. Here. And I want to make sure that your work area is also here. 
so that you don't move into the beery territory. Perfect. Is walling in just good for defense? Um, yeah, so people can't get in through the walls, or at least in theory, they can't get in through the walls. Um, there is a little bit of glitchiness. Like, if they start fighting someone, I think they can all move through the walls together. Again, the game is in early access. <laughs> um, and then eventually, I'm, I'm sure it will become more important as kind of like time goes on. There's no stone walls yet in the game, but you might be able to do more stuff. Right now, it's just for protecting your manor. And whatever nobles you may have in there. Keep stockpiles. You do keep stockpiles in the manor. Yep, yep, yep. So a lot of the weapons get stored in the uh, in the manor. Can you open a brothel? You can open a tavern. Okay, these, these, these roof tiles are getting moved, so I just have to be patient. And then we'll put together our, our, our little tavern. Um, I do really want to upgrade this granary because it's getting really full. So I'm going to actually do this and put it on very high. They've got everything but the logs transported there. We bought a horse. I guess I'll buy an extra ox. Doesn't seem like it hurt. The marketplace is starting to run out of stalls. Mm. I can maybe build in a couple mini markets. Gonna have to see. What you're saying is the Warhammer gate bug has been ported over to Banner Lords. God. There's thankfully no real sieges yet, so we don't know exactly how it works. Also, hello. I'm excited for this game. Love your triangular market. Thank you. I just threw it right in the center town. We actually built this entire... Yeah, this entire road section we did all of ourselves. This road down here existed. And this road up here existed, but then it kind of like stopped around here. So this is all natural home built, home built roads. I don't think he's growing anymore. So I'm just going to try that and see what happens to him. That guy has an area already assigned. I guess this is kind of a hill, which is unfortunate, but... I suppose it means, like, nobody can really charge down the hill. They're charging at a wall if they do that. Wow, this got built really fast. Turns out when you have nine families doing construction work, things really clip. We for firewood, yeah. All right, man, I'm going to throw a third family on the charcoal burner. The manor is upgraded. I'm going to go up to a 10% tithe. Agent, we must move a forester into the middle of town for the ascetic. I don't know. We have three foresters right now, which is a lot of foresters. There's four more troops for us as well. Should have built your manor on the hill. I mean, it's kind of on the hill. I could keep expanding it. Like, I could keep building these garrison towers and have it actually take up, like, this entire top. It'd be pretty excessive, though. But are they in the middle of town? Is enforcing the town? No, they're not. 
I don't know how well they would work if we tried that. Nothing stored inside. Play pit demolish. We can build a tavern. Yeah, let's turn off snap to roads. That's interesting. That road is bigger than the other roads. It's curious how like some roads are larger. I can never really like determine what does that. This song is crazy. I have 161 helmets. Um, 100 seems like a fine enough number. Dude, this guy must be just working nonstop. The town is bustling. Stolen turnip, thank you for the follow, dude. Welcome to the agency. We got all sorts of shops going. How are we on things like um, food variety? Everybody's got eggs. Everybody's got vegetables. Everybody's got meat. I think it's time I start figuring out how to get some brewage on the go. I was going to make you into a tailor. You know what? Why not? Let's just do it. Uh, I suppose I could make this guy into the brewer. We'll have to upgrade his, his plot, but... And Caffeine Feed, thank you for the follow, dude. Tell Blacksmith Bro you got enough hats and nobody on the body armor. So you need to unlock male armor. And your guys can't actually wear it until they hit level three Burgage plots. Because they're just not bougie enough. So it all takes little steps. All right. So if I was to build a malt house. We could build a little shrine in here. So I can start trading for malt. And then they'll make they'll you know, they'll buy it. They'll have to they'll have to send it to the kind of other side of town, which is a little annoying, but they'll get the malt, then they'll send it over there, and then they'll bring it back down to the tavern. Honestly, it's not that far. The town's still pretty small. Pores can't wear armor confirmed. Can confirm. You got to be fancy boys if you want the armor. Uh, so. Barley trade route. I would like to import barley until we have 10. Yeah, so if you take the trade skill, instead of importing this for 12, it imports for two. Which is currently very, very broken. But the problem is, is that you then lose a lot of specialization in your city. Like, I could have done that, but I would have had to get rid of, like, my, my hunting stuff. And where we have, like, the rich deposit of animals, I kind of wanted, wanted to take advantage of that. So, Glenda, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome to the agency. Got to be worth something for that kind of protection. I mean, it all takes time to build. Uh, we can put someone on that malt house right away, and we're going to upgrade that to a brewery right away. The tailor shop. Linen dies. Yarn and dies. Right, that's the other thing. Uh, so gambesins, poor people can wear. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. 
Flax imports for 12. What does linen import for? 14. Firewood. Firewood. So I'm also going to build that. And I'm going to build a weavery workshop, I guess. It's so close. I can almost sneak it in there. Snap that. Okay. So that's going to import booze, stuff to make booze, and it's going to import stuff to make gambesins, to make cloth to make gambesins, which is armor that everybody can wear. And then soon we'll upgrade the armor shop so he can make mail so level three people can start wearing that. I guess I need to assign someone to the tavern. We're going to need someone on the weaver workshop and then we're back down to one person. So where do we want to expand? Gambison, do you have cloaks? That's where I left you on Friday. Uh, this is a new village from the one on Friday. So the one on Friday, we actually couldn't do any combat uh, because we had we were just on like the peaceful map. So we restarted today, and instead of farming, we're mining and uh, and hunting. Mining, hunting, and like trading, really. I suppose this is the most logical spot for me to put the next set of burgages. It do make sense. Yeah, we had to live and learn a little bit. Can I get away with that? That would be a really cool. This is crazy. Look at these guys in the middle, like right there. Just like super long front yards and no burgage plots. Homies, what are you doing to me? All right, maybe we do this in bits and pieces then. I want them to be close into the market. Something like that would be ideal, but it has problems snapping to the manor fence. All right, so let's just move this uh, starting point one over then. Ah, yes, it would be so nice if I could tuck it in like that, but. Give everybody the second house, because what I'm more interested in here is, is housing than I am burgage plots. Why, this looks like the perfect place to add a shrine. <laughs> I love shrines. Shrines for everybody. Imagine if we're allowed to use our backyards like this. You are for the veg and chickens, not so much for the rest. I mean, you kind of can. I have a neighbor who is like clearly running a woodworking shop from his apartment. He doesn't even have a backyard, but he is always sawing wood. Like too much. He's sawing too much wood back there. You're almost at 20 retinue. Ooh, you know what we are at? Archer unit. Uh, we can also get rid of the polearm unit. 
Nice. So our spears are maxed out and our archers are maxed out now. Perhaps we should make some small shields then. And we could get some militia footmen. Are shrines useful or just fun? They are just fun. They currently serve no purpose. But I love decorating city builders. So I put them... They're the only decoration right now, so I put them anywhere that I could possibly squeeze them in. Access weapon storage at the manor. Good to know. We're so close to claiming this territory. So very close. Oh, my dudes. We got booze. We got booze. Not a lot of it. But I think we got enough of it. Flax and Burley, yeah, coming in. Throw some of this weaver workshop. And we can start making those gambesins. <sighs> Hell yeah. You guys have 27 charcoal. How am I still so low on charcoal all the time? It feels like. They should not have any problem getting all of these things from the marketplace. Bandit camp. Due north of us. Mm. You know what? I'm going to try it, but I don't have a lot of faith in this. To the tavern! They demand I have a lawn in my backyard. Have I played against the storm? I have. I actually like against the storm. I think it's one of the best games for the way they do decorations. HOAFS can try to find you. I think they can do things to take your home. I don't know. I like, I can't even imagine uh, like the thought of living with an HOA is, is a whole weird kind of nightmare to me. Made it a clover lawn, the most they can do without incurring lawns. Yeah, I think HOAs have like crazy powers depending on where you live. It does depend on where you live, so. Like in a lot of America, they have some absurd rules around them. Uh, it does seem like our foresters are like effectively moving out our forests from the circle. <laughs> They were like, first, we're going to encase our home <laughs> in a perfect circle of trees. And then, then we'll start to go. Dude, the retinue hates running because of all that heavy armor. Archers and spears are like, no problem, dudes. We're just wearing a bunch of, bunch of cloth. We're out for a morning jog. I think again, they're going to kill the brigands, but we're going to get the camp. This number keeps going down. Food is good at 11. Fuel is not. Uh, I think we're probably going to make eggs in this new spot. I feel like eggs are what I'm running lowest on now. Ooh, they might actually be coming out to me. I got lucky. They saw me first before they saw the mercenaries. 
Uh, and what's nice is our guys can just like sit here for a minute and like catch their breath with their nice hats and their spears and their funny flag. Oh, cool. St. George and the Dragon. And then there's our flag. Oh, they're so fatigued. They're so fatigued. No HOAs in Germany. Lots of laws for regulating what you can and can just build. Live with an HOA or don't have a house. I mean, you can live in places that don't have HOAs as well. Like, I live in a place that doesn't have an HOA. You do got neighbors and they can complain about things, but not a lot. Depends. Why no archers? These guys are archers. Hopefully no range friendly fire. Like to imagine some Frowlin coming around with a ruler to examine the lawns. I mean, it very much does exist. Ooh. I guess we should charge. Ooh. <laughs> the deep zoom out. Uh, we'll throw these guys on fire at will. And we'll start filling will with arrows. Oh, wow. Dudes. All right, my red new can go home. They almost made it to the fight. Uh, I'd like these guys to run if they're willing to do it. Archers, you can go home. Very soon, what's going to happen is we're going to have to start fighting these guys. The mercenaries that this guy brings in. And those are like big, like five versus five armies. So we still need like more troops to be able to do that, but we're, we're getting there. Uh, we have enough influence. Uh, let's take the money for ourselves. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to zoom out. We're going to take this territory. Walled brand. And we're going to claim it with influence. Claiming. Now, in theory, he can challenge me for this claim. Oh my god, we're going to be able to grow so much food. This is going to be just a massive farming town. They're going to do literally nothing but farm. Cost millions and millions to not live with an HOA? Again, it just depends on where you live. It doesn't cost anything here in Canada. Like, HOAs are rare here. Uh, in your area, it costs millions. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I feel like we're not constructing all these burgages. Is it because I was building too many other things? Upgrading towns? I was. Ah, uh, you know, also the other reason is because all of my, like, men are out serving in the war. Come on! Let's head on home, boys. You're almost there. to the roads and like ants uh, our retinue we can add Ooh, so close we've almost got the full retinue I'm gonna make a footman unit these are gonna be our next guys we don't have enough actual people for them yet but Settlement level increased. We are now a small town. Okay, the iron mine still has a lot of room. So we don't need to go for deep mining yet. So we could pick up male armor. Used to equip citizens of Burgers Plus level 3 or above, which we're starting to make. We could also pick up double skinning. And get access to more meat.
I don't know. Maybe those houses are just like outside of range. Having a hard time understanding why some of these guys are not getting supplies. I might have to build a little mini market here and another one down here. our first region we're beginning to fight back wild brand forest fire one can name a tasty spirit in a punny way since brand is also used for certain types forest fire liqueur i mean that's a pretty good name i feel like i would drink a liqueur called forest fire australia the only time you have to deal with an hoa or body corporate is in a town, house, complex, or high-rise living. It, I, I feel like in Canada, it's in, like, rare gated communities. Which is, like, there's not a lot of gated communities in Canada. I think it's much more of an American thing. And you do have to deal with, like, co-op boards if you live in an apartment building. And that's a bit different. But if you own just, like, a house, typically, on a street... It's just like yours. Hey, you just gotta... You gotta deal with the government. Pay your taxes. But that's pretty par for the course. Yeah, those guys are not getting food. Highly problematic. Right now, marketplaces are a little, like, wonky. I'm going to build one there. I mean, this marketplace is about to be capped out. It's only got three spots left. Oh, I guess I could build it there. Mm, you know what? I might be better off building it here instead. Two. Why is that two stalls? That should be much more than two. Three if I go there. I'll allow it. I don't want to get rid of my shrines, so. Wait, is a footman like a handyman? <laughs> That's so stupid. I love it. The funnel, how you doing, dude? Used to be it was only gated communities in America too, but then racism, so white people wanted to keep people of color out of their neighborhoods. Don't really do gated communities in Australia. If they do is run by a private company and you have to deal with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm more suspicious, not that the link is from a Russian, but that the link starts with the word encrypted. Not that there's anything wrong with encryption, but it does make you question. What's going on there? Food, food. Berries is low. Veggies is doing very good. Eggs seems to be like sitting around 90. But I, I think I'm probably going to egg these guys. Feels like a good idea to have extra eggs. All right, I got to chill out. And just let our dudes build. 
Oh, your keys belongs to me. Another triangle at the other end of the main street. Yeah, down here. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I might actually like blow this out a little bit more or put the market like here. There's definite room for like a full city expansion down here. I think we're going to keep this forested in because I just kind of like the, the, the look of it. And then we'd have this road into here and this would be like the barley farms. Expand the living space, expand the living space. Yeah, okay, nobody built any stalls there, but now he can reach them. So I, I'm not really sure what it was. Maybe it was just because they were all at war. So they, they weren't like able to get back and, and refill their house. Possibly. Possibly. Dude, this city's looking pretty slick though. I guess I could have this road go down here and also connect. Ooh. I'm having a hard see reason seeing why not. So that becomes like a whole new part of the city then. Uh, there was some talk earlier about doing farming down here because there is actually access to Emner. Oh, I should probably build another well for safety's sake. The game looks a lot like fun, but what's the end game objective? Is it conquest or having a nice time building either, which I'm happy with? There's a couple different scenarios right now. Um, one of which is like reach large town. Uh, this one is uh, take all of the land from the Baron who is invading. And then there's another one that's like conquest, just like conquer all regions. But it's all a little loosey goose still. I've got to switch us on to armor. Start getting our fancy people suited up. Ba 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 ba. Uh, we need more upgraded burgages. So I'm going to upgrade all those firms. Lived in New York City for 10 years. No more neighbors for you. Yeah. Have I seen an update patch cadence of any sort? Uh, so they've said that they're trying not to push out any updates on this press release right now because they just want to keep it like stable for the two weeks. Uh, before early access hits but there will be like a big patch with early access is my understanding move to belarus buy a farm something simple live a simple life yo that sounds lovely honestly i'm tempted to do that every day just live out the stardew valley in real life small apartment community not like new york yeah would have hated new york yeah i used to live in toronto and um in like big condo buildings and stuff for a while. Now I live in Montreal and it's like way more chill. Way less like super high sky rises all around you. And I get the appeal to it, but it's like, it's not for me. I come from like a small town. So wondering if the game drives you to one or the other. Yeah. Yeah. So in this one, it's like we have to defend against the Baron and then push him out of the region. We don't necessarily need to take over all the regions, but we do need to push the Baron out of all of them. Emner is wheat. Yeah. I don't know why they call it Emner when it's just called wheat everywhere else in the game. But for some reason on the overlay, it's called Emner. We called corn back then. I don't, I don't know. I think very different. I can't imagine wheat was called corn because corn came from South America. Did it not? And they wouldn't have known about it in the medieval ages. Pantries are full. Lots of stuff getting soaked. 
Lots of food getting stoked. So I need more people on the granaries, which just means I need more people. It says I have 60 living spaces, which is clearly not true. Considering I have 78 families. This doesn't quite calculate right. But I can see that nobody is living in any of these homes. That we just built, so... Let us be patient. Might have the medieval town game, Townsman. Oh, I think I remember that one a little bit, yeah. Will there be day one DLC? I don't think so. They're not a AAA title. It's, it's made by, like, one guy, primarily. He's brought in a couple other people as time has gone on for things like the music, but... Like, it's a hooded horse game, so it's like it's like a triple I title. I think it's the new term that we're going with now. Ever since they had that big thing the other week. I think triple I is the official term. Am I a Leafs fan? No. I'm a fan of whoever the Leafs is playing at any given time. Because it means that I am always on the winning side. And you always get to win against all your friends who are Leafs fans. It's very easy. It's a very simple bet. Wheat was legitimately called corn. Okay. As a term, it existed before maize was imported to Europe. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I can see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. That makes sense. Used to live in major cities between two, four million people. Yeah, moved to a town which was just 100K. Yeah, my, my, the town I grew up in was 100,000. After 15 years, can't see myself moving back to the city. Yeah. I like Montreal because it's a weird blend. It's like a city, but it's it feels very small for a city. There's not a lot of like big buildings outside like the deep downtown. And there's a lot of people around, but it's it's still like I don't know. Most of the most of the most of the buildings are no more than like three or four three or four levels high, and everyone is like very friendly. We're missing a hundred recruits to max out our army right now, but. Christian, a term for peasants pre-Christianity? Oh. I, I do not know on that. Good answer. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really a big sports sports ball person, but uh, inevitably, you know, you live in Canada, you got to watch some hockey. So the fun thing is just always be on the opposing team of the Leafs. Corn means kernel, cereal in German, also used for booze made from cereal and certain metal bands. Aha. Well, you'll not find Lost all my Canadian viewers. No, that's okay. They can go. If they were Leafs fans, they were losers anyway. <laughs> Entering my evil Eric. This is the best I've ever done on Feud and Fuel. I, I'm consistently above eight. Food, we often keep a whole year supply. The granary never feels that full, which is something I'd like to work on. But I guess also we're not farming, so can I really complain? Here's eggs. Yeah, we still suck on meat. I need 10 level three burgage plots. We're out of booze. We're out of money. Oh, honey. That ain't good. Uh, let's start looking at the old export game. Warbos. Warbos. I need to turn it off. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I have to stop importing things for a little while. So I can start selling warbos and probably shields. Sidearms, da -da -da, spears. All right, you're pretty good on all of these. I'm going to turn the blacksmith over to tools. It's one iron slab, and it's only good for trading. 
You're making mail, which I'm fine with. You're making bows infinitely, and you're making shields and wooden parts. Two planks for a wooden part, or one plank for a shield. What sells better? What sells better? Small shields sell for five. Wooden parts sell for five. So we'll just sell shields. Oh yeah, we need a ton of money. We need a lot of cash. Corn and grain interchangeable after quick Google. Both came from Proto-Indo-European language. England used the word corn interchangeably with grain. Okay. Oh, there we go. We got some people moving in finally. At a certain point, it feels like oh, you only start getting like one person, one family move in a month. So things do slow down after like the initial early pop boons. Edmonton Oilers better anyway. I mean, my father is a a, a Boston fan. So I think by the law of hockey, I'm also a Boston fan. That's my understanding on how it works. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even taking the retinue out. It probably won't get there in time if I do. Bandits, you've got money for me. Why are you running? Don't run. Goats, my lord. I need goats. Yeah, I probably do. You're probably not wrong. Uh, all right. I'm going to put these guys on standard ground. You guys are on balance. You guys are on balance. Wow. All right. They got like touched. And they were like, we are out of here, dudes. Why are we trying to rob this settlement that is just clearly designed to make weapons? You think we can see any of our guys wearing mail? I do wonder. Like... We have a couple of upgraded burgages now. So in theory, this guy's wearing mail. This guy's wearing mail. So this is now as we upgrade guys, they're actually going to be wearing real armor. So. One of the main problems in medieval times, not only did serfs belong to the land and by extension the Lord, but there was perpetual shortage of workforce to the point some Lords tried to bribe families to move from other lands. <laughs> Sneaky sneakies. I mean, it's one good reason to use our standing army to deal with bandits. But they're just so slow with all their heavy armor. Uh, I'm going to take this as cash instead of gold. Disband, we disband. All right, that gives us 200 bucks. That should be enough that we can open up these trade routes for war bows, which we have so stupid many of. Sell that down to 36. 
And then small shields was the next one, but I actually need another $210. It's so expensive. What is the trade thing? It caps it? A maximum of 25 to make a new trade route. That's wild. Okay, trade is definitely the most broken thing. I have no doubt in my head. Oh, nice. We just magically made another 146, 146. Possibly from trading. Possibly from trading all of those war bows. Um, current surplus, desired surplus. 36, I would think. I only got one unit of shields, one unit of bows. Helmets feels a little more confusing. Oh, cool. Our spirit guys also have Gambison's on now, too. If approval is above 50, you gain one pop a month. If it's above 75, you gain two pop a month. Oh, okay. That is important. Yeah, I didn't realize that. It feels like you get so many more early on, but I guess you're like if your approval is up really high. I was at like 77, then it just dropped to 65. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Appreciate that you call mail just mail instead of chain mail. I think that's how they describe it. Mail armor, yeah. We need another guy on the storehouse. Food's looking pretty thin. All right, our next goal is to get up to 250 treasuries so we can open up a new city. We almost have enough to claim another province as well. Uh probably down here these guys have rich berries rich wild animals these guys kind of have nothing oh no they have rich iron oh and rich berries Ooh. Ooh, uh, ooh, uh. i can have them mine iron and send it south chain mail is illegal under most postal laws <laughs> Just me or does Hooded Horse keep making awesome games? Dude, they are the indie developer right now. The indie publisher, I think, to keep an eye on. Especially, at least in my space, like strategy space. They are knocking it out of the park. I don't know if you saw, but like Tira Invicta just got like a huge new update yesterday as well. All of their games are doing really well. Mail is the correct term, at least back then. It's a modern colloquialism that added chain. Ah. Modernism, possibly Victorianism. Eye for a good game. Yeah, yeah. I've met a bunch of the, 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 like, the dudes who work at Hooded Horse as well, and they're all dudes and dudettes. I mean, we're all dudes. And they are all lovely people. I can, t I can tell you that, like, absolutely. All of the people who work for Hooded Horse, I'm like, you're great. You are good people. I trust you. Which I can't, I cannot say that about most publishers. Like, they are good peeps. Tier Invicta, yeah, yeah, yeah. It got a big, like, they rechanged Earth. They rechanged space combat, a lot of the space combat, a couple of the tech paths. They added, like, 72 new countries or something like that. Or, like, provinces within countries. So this would kind of just be, like, a mining settlement. If we went down here... I guess it would be like a hunting settlement. A gathering settlement. <laughs> We're being raided. 
Okay, so finally we get a real fight. So this is when raiders show up, they show up with like a bunch of armies. Instead of just like the bandit camps, that's one guy. This is, I think, four. I think one's probably in the trees. Uh, they do got to get across the map, which is going to take them some time, but it's no big. Because we have to differentiate different styles, like scale or chainmail. Yeah, probably, I would guess. Yeah. The country rework looks really good. Back in the day, they were just swords. If it had a long blade, it was a long sword. None of this broadsword, bastard sword, stuff like that. Yeah. The controversy of how they slice up some countries, the silliest thing ever. I mean, I was, when I saw that they updated the stuff, I, I did go into the comments on Steam to be like, all right, where are the trolls and what are they going to say? And I was surprised that there weren't any. Everyone was just like, yay, this game rules. A good update. And that was a delight to see compared to most comment sections on the internet that are such a nightmare. How nice it was to just see people getting along for once. Well, 11 food. So food is going up. Fuel seems stable at 8. I think each and how is like taking care of itself right now. It needs money for booze. And I would really like to get more gambesons. Uh, I think I'm going to turn on those imports again. And we'll see how it goes. Pantry's full. Not enough stable spots. That's not true. Oh, it is true. Whoopsie. Run out of market stalls. All right, a lot of these places are full, which leads me to believe I need to put more people on the granary. Uh, I also hate to do it, but I'm going to move that shrine so I can expand the marketplace here. Sneak it in anywhere. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta have a shrine somewhere in town. Otherwise, the church will get furious with us. Just make sure a knife is not a sword so people can use them without license, even if the knife is the size of a sword. I mean, that's definitely when things start to get a weird, bit weird and a bit complicated. Uh, I should assign a permanent horse to this trading post. so cranky about the taverns I do have two burgage plots here that are not being used how are we doing on like the iron that we dig up versus the iron we process 39 iron ore one iron slab so another person on the bloomery is clearly needed and more people in the pit would also be good. If I don't have a surplus of iron slabs, I certainly don't want to build another blacksmith, which is what these two houses were for. Another blacksmith and another armorer.
We're making mail armor, but I don't know who's getting it. Oh, the spear militia, mostly. Ten. Some of the archers, some of the footmen. Hardly any gambesons. Uh, where is that army? That I saw and then completely started ignoring. There they are. We better get ready. They're going to be on our doorstep very soon. And we actually have to be prepared for them for once. I think we'll fight out in this open field. Seeing as we have archers. Dude, I love how tucked away our town is. It's very satisfying. And this forester is just like, wow. Has been doing a really good job of planting all this stuff. I'm actually wondering whether or not I should build like another logging camp up here and then just rotate my logging camps. Maybe another one down here as well. It's not a bad idea. Oh, bandit rays. Don't forget about the bandits. They've split up a little bit, which is cool. Should make our job a lot easier. Oh no, homies are running. Please, sirs, you're going to be so tired if you do that. All right. Let's try something like that. Guys are on balance. You guys are on guard. Balanced and balanced. Feels good. We got a little blockage from these trees. Though I'm not yet sure how much that really affects things. Thunk. Uh, these guys apparently want to go up against my knights. They're going to have a bad day. Instantly, instantly buckled. Charge. You know, I figure these are the retinue, so if they die, it's not really the worst thing. guys look like they're breaking pretty well 92 versus 33 but their morale is trash those guys are already gone you guys could shoot at will buckled buckled i think we might be ready to fight mercenaries I don't know that we lost anybody in that fight. 36, 36, 36, 24. We didn't lose a single person against those brigands. Amazing. You have the settlement on Victory Hill. Hope there's a fantasy setting mod for this. Oh, that would be good. That would be very satisfying. Oh, 
The whole army disbands. Back to the road, my lords. My lord. What is it, my lord? Something need doing? Work, work. Everybody's just coming back from the late night. The late night rave in the woods. Shovels? Oh, I guess I guess a lot of guys do farm. We all know what that means, huh? Yeah, what does that mean, huh? You got something to say to me? Oh god, you entered my body. <laughs> Not like this. Let's get ahead of the crowd. Let's see what it's like coming into town from this path. Game is supposed to be supporting modding. I do believe yes. Yeah. But I don't suspect it will be for a while. Path is this? Oh, cool. This is the path we... um <laughs> We built uh, the alternate path into town. Up by the uh, the chicken coops. logging camp that we have here the sawmill on the edge of town the northern edge of town oh my legs sorry my legs please away with the vile beggar look, look at the squad coming on in the combat's not first person no I mean you could go into first person and watch the combat but you can't like participate in the combat at least not yet one guy built the whole game before getting outside help for polish yeah i mean he pretty much got outside help for things like the music right which is not abnormal what is this the maltery yeah so they turn barley into malt here get some water bring it across the street We turn it to beer. This large bundle of cocaine here on the ground. Very suspicious, villagers. That looks like movie drugs. <laughs> Phrasing, I think. I think it's appropriate there. Red Rover, Red Rover, send Manor Lord over. Ah! <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about this. They seem to be slowly figuring it out, though. Ah, cool. There's a guy in chain mail. Or in chain. Or in mail. Oh, God, I'm screwing it up. The level three burgages, the fancy two-door houses. I like how literally as they become level three houses, they're also like, yeah, now we're three stories. The old men returning from war, yeah. Music and art assets, okay, yeah. And probably for translation, yes. So it's not just Polish, but also Polish. I imagine he'll need help with the Polish. I love um, if the burgages have like two properties and they're small, they just ended up, when they hit level three, they ended up just like fusing together into one massive house. The bustling marketplace. Oh, I love the church just like looming over everything in the background. The tavern on the left. Fresh hunted game. Fine fabrics. Yeah, you guys are selling a lot of linen. I'd really appreciate it if we could just use that for gambesons, not sell it to the plebs. My tailor needs this linen. Some people are bustling. Linen hides. 
Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. It's cool. Like you can see them literally come by, pick up a bundle of firewood off the table, and bring it home. Anywhere else. The market is bustling. Everybody's vegetables from their backyards. Blueberries from the forest. Successful battle. The village died because of gridlock. Storms are brewing. Feels like it's going to be rain, my lord. Oh, yeah. Thunder and lightning. Ominous. How's the bar, gentlemen? Apples? Where'd you get apples from? We don't have an orchard. <laughs> Who's importing these illegal apples into the king's land? Yo, look how pointy my shoes are. Here's my trader. All my stables in the back here. It's a beautiful clear day and yet there's lightning. Last map I had a huge apple or apple orchard. Yes. Church looks nice. I'm glad we haven't had to bury anybody yet. Oh yeah. And then the matter. Fresh meat. Oh, fresh meat here. No I'm burned from my own manor. Don't be shy, good sirs and ladies. You'll not find finer ways anywhere else. Yo, it's so nice walking around the town in this game. All right, it's pretty good. Pretty good view of the town as the storm kicks up. I've been thinking probably a second spear troop might make the most sense for us. I do need some heavy shields. Thankfully, we are well situated to make those. We're not trading heavy shields yet, are we? Perts? Are we selling wooden perts? No, we said we were going to sell small shields because they were actually worth more. Worth more for less. And we have a lot to sell. We have 102 and we only want 36. We might need to get a second trader. One point nine K influence. Whoa, we got a lot from that fight. Uh, I'm going to claim this province immediately. And then actually, I'm realizing I probably shouldn't claim provinces. I should just fight claims. I might want some more money to upgrade my retinue to full plate. And we are definitely going to want to make sure that like everybody has armor if we're going to go into this war. We need 250 bucks to set up a second town in our treasury, not regional wealth. For regional wealth, we'll just keep trying to import flax and booze, and then I guess keep upgrading as many burgages as we can. Get influence from winning the battle. Yeah, we must have. Yeah, I think every time you kill a bandit, uh, bandit party, you get influence, so... Claiming through influence does give less combat focus player options to expand. Uh, so there is going to be the option later uh, to claim with King's favor. 
and they haven't added this yet into the game but i imagine that if you decide to be like a farming town that sends great surplus to the king you can probably claim territory to be like you know my lord look how good of a farm we're running give us more land and then they go yes my lord capital idea my lord uh let's save up for 250 so we can build a second town because these guys are stable question mark This town feels stable right now. And the only thing it's really missing is access to booze. Yeah, we have some ale. I suppose the next spot is Burgage Plots, so... There's a flip problem with this, is that as I upgrade, like, plots... They're gonna drop my approval rating because of lack of entertainment. But I also suppose they generate more money. Probably no reason for me not to upgrade everybody to level two. They'll eat more? Will they? They'll require access to more things, but that's only to, like, upgrade them to the next level. I think I'm going to do this. How to get entertainment? Booze, of course. The only entertainment that exists in the medieval ages. The finest of Elky Halls. Yeah, so we need barley, which we can't grow. And then we have to turn that barley into malt, and then we need to turn that malt into booze. So we have the bolt house, we have the brewery, and we trade currently for Burley. And to be honest, we seem to be doing pretty positive here. So I'm going to turn all those numbers up to 20. See if we can start importing more flax and more regional wealth. This is one of the big problems you see here in clothing where everybody has linen in their house. I don't want that. I want that linen to be used at my weaver's shop. No, my tailor's shop to make gambesons. And they're making it, but like... Not that much. Stocks at a food stall are getting soaked. That's weird. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Uh, one of the other big problems is... Um, yeah, your storage gets filled if you don't upgrade your settlements. Because they can't carry anything. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes on our fine selection. 
no food. That's not true, dudes. There is food. You just have to go get it. Step right up and sample. You'll not find finer wares anywhere else. Leather. Well, leather. We have vegetables and eggs. We just don't seem to be, like, divvying them out properly right now. So I'm going to put a bunch more people on this granary. And I'm going to hope that they just go around and start collecting things better. Seems like they are. So I think right now is what I, I have mostly, like, a bottleneck in that supply chain. I do wonder about something, which is I have hunting traps. So if I just built hunters, would they still just give me passive meat income? Larger markets? No, no, no. Our markets still have space in them to grow. It's mostly that they're just not being supplied. The granary does distribute goods. People will work at the market stall. Collect, store, and distribute goods using generic storage. They will also automatically set up stalls on the marketplace to distribute the stored goods to the burgage plots. It's nice. I'm seeing a lot of booze stocking up now, and our money is going through the roof. I need a second person working the tavern. Slowly upgrade everything. Fuel feels like it's dropping a bit. I'm actually not keeping up on firewood anymore. But I don't know. I'm sure it's okay. I could probably pull someone off that logging camp. Good job, forests. Man, this forestry hut really did it. It took him a few years to grow the forest out, but this is pretty thick. It's lush. I wonder if I shouldn't build a forest down here. Some of these tracks are insane. Fresh meat. Get your fresh meat here. Dude, there is food. You just have to go find it. Is there food? I'm looking at this now and I'm not so sure about it anymore. seem to be producing that much I'm making enough money that we could import some food if we needed to like I could import flour I could import flour and open up a bakery we're definitely making enough to do that can you set the crops year by year in the house fields like you can in the large fields? Uh, no, they don't have fertility.
These guys will absolutely trash the bandits by themselves. <gasps> I just noticed we have a lot of money. We have a lot of money. In fact, we have so much money, we can start a second town with the settler's camp. So... Burley fields. Flax fields. Flax, flax, burley. Emner is everywhere. Rye is everywhere. What else are they going to need? I'd like for them to have access to those wild animals. I guess if I set up here, I could have access to the berries pretty easy. The animals. I could harvest wood like here and here. Or up here as well. The stone's not far. The clay's not... Well, the clay's pretty far, but that's not a really an issue. Then I could set up a farmhouse and then just have like a trade route. Probably build this road like right across here. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Uh, so one cool thing that they haven't done yet is add in like uh, farming villages, forest villages, and mining villages. Right now you just have one town, but you can build like specialized villages. Hmm. If we actually wait, we could show with more supplies. Which might be a little smarter. Because I feel like we're making good money right now all of a sudden. And if I kill these bandits, I'll also get some cash. Level 2 burgages produce more goods. No, they can get access to artisan goods. Such as like the blacksmith or the cobbler. But um, as far as I am aware, they do not produce any additionals. The only thing that like affects is like vegetables and orchards, depending on how big your burgage plot is, will produce extra. But like chickens are always the same size, goats the same size. I actually should have made these burgages plots like half this size. This was kind of a waste. Same here. But you know, sometimes it's nice to give people a lawn. Goats for meats and hides should also start some of the farmland in the new region. Yeah, I suppose we're not doing great on hides, so goats wouldn't be terrible. It would also, with advanced skinning, give us some better bonuses. Don't have a lot of people left to move in here. Uh, I suppose I could build goats out here. Something maybe more like that. Just make sure we have all these set up in the right kind of zones. Yeah, I mean, we're making pretty good money right now. What is this? Five stones. I need some like random person to show up to haul that.
I could do like four goat pens right there. And then add in another one whenever those stones get moved. I suppose it's not the worst idea. Would help the tanner and everything up here too. Yeah, there definitely needs to be like some balance pass stuff on certain things. Oh. How are boys doing? I think they killed all the bandits and I didn't even notice. Hundred and fifty one bucks. Ooh, what was it? Was it seven hundred? For the max amount of stuff? 750. Oh, okay. We're like 26 gold off. So we'll get that in like one taxation season. Why are you producing everything so we don't need to import? Then you have money to spend on me. I mean, the retinue. Listen, there's not much more we could do for the retinue right now. The biggest thing right now is actually upgrading all of the burgages so that people can get access to mail. Like that is without a doubt the biggest thing. Iron ore, iron slabs, malt. This joiner can go back to small shields for selling them. You're on tools. You're on mail. Just fine. He seems to really be struggling to get the supplies for mail armor. I'll be real. I think this guy is gobbling up all of the iron and making tools out of it. And they're not really making mail. You know what? I take that back. A lot more people are wearing mail than I expected. Food is definitely the big one right now. Uh, we're going to claim the last open location. And then we're going to start building the settler's camp. We'll give them plentiful supplies. And they are set up. All right. We're going to need, it looks like a hunter's camp right about there. We're going to need a foraging hut. Let's say right about there. Let's say let's put a road through this as well. And then a road here. Just so things are easy to get around. My dudes are gonna need... A logging camp and a woodcutter's lodge. Where am I going to build houses here? Is I guess a real question. Burley's all there. Flax is up there. So kind of like this is going to be my farm right now. So I feel like houses are going to be in here. Perhaps here, here, and here. I do a long strip there and there. And then, uh, what if... 
We also built a road like this. Then we could have nice tasty burgers plots all along here. A little bit hard to debate where I want this marketplace. I think this would be too far down. I almost want to say like here. Like this. This feels like it's going to be a way oversized marketplace. 73? 81? Seventy-eight. Extreme overkill. All right. Mail such a pain in the make. Lance needs some love. So hopefully everybody can get to work here. We're going to need to babysit them a little bit. We go back to this town. We should be fine. Uh, they do need their goats. Then we can zoom around everybody else. When it bow inwards. This road? I mean, we could do it any number of ways. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. So, uh, now we are full on at war. We own half the map. They own half the map. Which is pretty good. They are either going to start making claims on our land or we get to start making claims on their land. Either way, we get to have some fun. Hunting camp. Foraging hut. Logging camp. Woodcutter's lodge. You know what? I'm going to do this. Five, ten vegetable gardens. Chicken coops. That ought to keep them busy. It'll be nice that I don't have to worry about doing most building resources here. Uh, I actually think I'm just going to delete this road. I don't like it, and I think I want maybe the church to go here. Once they cut enough stuff. I just don't want to like destroy all this forest's building. Didn't make enough sense to me. We start with a bit of money here. 150. Uh, I suppose we need to build a trading post. No. A pack station. Okay. 
You can kind of put it anywhere. I guess we'll just put it right here. Notifications start going wild when you have two cities. It's very hard to keep up. Is this a campaign or skirmish? Will there be decent sandbox replayability? Yeah. So this is... um. Uh, currently, there's only, like, one map, which is, like, the press map. Um, but it's always different, like, what spawns and what area, and the fertility is always different, and where you start is different. Uh, so this is, like, a scenario, I guess is what it would be, where the Baron Hildebrand, Hildebolt von Baronut is invading, and there's also some bandits that are popping up from time to time. And so he is kind of, like, showing up and trying to claim this land, and you are trying to fight back and trying to claim it all for yourself. And there's a little, little back and forth and that has to happen. All these people are transporting, so I'm going to put another person on that granary. Feels like they all got a job to do. I'm also going to put another person on this trading post. I have five oxes two horse wait I shouldn't have done that I need a mule I'm a fool I'm a fool for this mule what do I send them uh, great question. I could send them. Helmets? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Pack station. Uh, so they're going to need storage here as well, I guess. Walt Brandt has leveled up. They're going to do a lot of farming, so I think giving them the heavy plow right away makes sense. So would sheep breeding. Oh, we'll get to that one in due time. Kind of skirmish, think Anno, and that's basically it. Kind of seems to be matches that can be hundreds of hours long, yeah. How they get you, pretend to be nice and polite, then bam, they reveal the overly polite, apologizing for everything stereotype. You're stuck drinking nothing but maple syrup, singing Oh Canada, and putting cheese on everything? Are we really that well known for cheese? Can you have cavalry? Not yet. Um, It does seem to be like probably, eventually. Uh, but they have not added it yet. There are horses. You can buy horses. I want to just make sure these guys have more than enough food. Uh, you know what? I'm going to double vegetable. I'm going to double vegetable. I'm going to move all those. Uh, so, I'm going to need a granary. Also going to need a storehouse. Come on, come along. But all them logs are in my way. Put hitching posts is there and there. These guys are going to need a lot of oxen. So, we're going to have to keep that in mind. 
Ooh, we are super rich. Let us go grab our retinue and make sure that everybody has full plate. This is why I don't really see the need to make full plate, at least not currently, because it takes an investment point And it, you still have to buy it. It's just like half off. Heck yeah. Ooh, I've actually never seen an army go up in expertise before. But we have a lot of money. We could actually start in multiple towns all over the place. But I suppose patience makes more sense. No Canada for maple syrup. Mounties, politeness. Once having invaded USA, burned down the White House. That's correct. War of 1812. Hmm. Also horrible war crimes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Don't forget those. Can't be forgetting those. Now. Is anybody able to get upgraded? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I don't know how this happened, but our food is really like we have terrible food variety here. Everybody is heating their house with charcoal, which is amazing. Very good. I love to see that. But despite us having like huge swaths of vegetables. We're really struggling on actually feeding everybody. Carrots, cabbages, turnips. Well. Hmm. Avel, one step at a time. Snow's pretty all when it falls, but hell if it ain't. There's some mud after ten minutes. All right. These guys should have lots of food. They need level two burgage plots, which means they need. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They need to take all this fire wood. We need to build them a church, which is going to take planks. We better build a saw pit over here. Nobody's working either of those jobs. Homelessness and cold. You shouldn't be cold. Try to focus on these guys a little bit. Nice to make up for the war crimes. Yeah. Assume it's a whole thing because Harry Styles did a whole thing about what he loves about Canada. Every second he listed was poutine. So I assume it was a big deal in Canada. I mean, yeah, it depends on where you were, but absolutely there was a lot of poutine going on here. Had a habit of putting cheese on things. I mean, I, I definitely do put cheese on a lot of things. I just didn't know that that was uniquely Canadian. I just assumed everybody loved cheese. I'm a little alarmed if that's not the case. A little bit worried for the rest of the world and what they're doing not eating cheese all the time. Ooh, that church is bigger than it looks. That church is bigger than it looks. All right, well, approval's up, at least. So they got heavy plow. Hmm. I am gonna want sheep. Uh, but I really think the first step has got to be the barley fields. Ok, 
Okay, so the best part for the farmhouse would be right there. So what I really want... Is for those guys to take out that forest. We'll see how they hold up. People are moving into both towns pretty consistently. These guys are making like 3,000 bucks. So what? What are we missing? Is it just food stalls? Why don't we just import some bread or something if this is going to be the case? Or like honey? Apples, 13. Honey, 13. Bread a commodity? No. Bread's 14. Should I just be importing meat? Honestly? Meat or berries would actually make more sense. And would be cheaper. Uh, I don't know, 50 meat? Sounds good. berries as well have you need traders show up for just this stuff cheese is good some cheese other cheese is moldy or stinky i mean that also sounds pretty good though sounds pretty good set up a couple of apple orchards over here absolutely yeah We don't have droughts. I don't know that we need rye. The Emner fertility is so busted here. I suppose it's an extra thing to grow. We got a couple extra bodies. There's the saw pit. You're going there. Let's build a storehouse here. Still room for that. Good, good, good. Lots of room for this town to grow. Yeah, I can't wait to see this, like, the pack station actually up and running. Oh, this guy has stable space. Oh, so I could just buy mules and they'll store here. Absolutely. And we got a guy working it. I have 10 families not doing anything in this town right now. That is a dream come true to me. Let's get him on that woodcutter's lodge. Saw pit, logging camp, forester's hut, pack station. Maybe on the forester's huts as well. Some extra people planting would be kind of nice. 
This guy, I don't even know if he does anything anymore. He just seems to be going crazy. I'll let him start growing into the rest of town. These guys seem to be keeping this logging at like a reasonable pace. Uh, I suppose I could assign a few people to these stables so that we have some dedicated ox drivers. And then throw another in the mine. Start throwing them in the mines, boys. That's what the children yearn for. This poor ox is too busy delivering goods to all of these plots I'm trying to upgrade. So he can't do anything for the saw pit yet. That's fine. He'll get it soon. Distinct lack of maypoles and men covered in bells are armed with sticks. I, you know, being able to add in things like festivals and stuff later in this game, I think will be very fun. It's a lot of good room for that kind of shenanigans. Could definitely see some real foolishness get into this game. All right, these guys should yeet that into planks pretty quickly and then we can get the church going. Perfect. A nice little town. I'm going to try to keep this town simple. Simple-ish. Simple as we can. Fuel still kind of thing in here. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Meow. Antibrain, hello. We already have a Turg, my dude. But if you'd like to name another member of our standing army, I would be more than happy to oblige. We have lots of people. Linhart? Well, I'm obviously going to make this Lionheart. Seeing as he dropped a raid on us earlier. We do have Turg. There he is. There's our Turgy boy. Can we make him look like an ogre? Where are these colors coming from? I'll give him any weapon he wants. Oh, I just wish they had like full nightly chain mail as well. Just fancied up. A boring Von Karstein. Yes, absolutely. This, this fellow looks like a Von Karstein. A boring Von Karstein. Wow, I got a lot of treasury. <gasps> you know what that means? I can hire mercenaries. We need some influence so we can start going to war. I want to start fighting. I want to start fighting this guy. 
Have I applied for compensation? Primary school dancers with a teachers was a Morris dancer. They made the whole class do it a couple of times in PE. We used to do um uh, it's a Newfoundland dance called Running the Goat. And that was kind of like the only dance we did in school growing up. But I still remember bits of it. It is amazing how well that stuff just burns deep in your memory. What are you waiting on? You're waiting on logs still? All right. Uh, these guys could definitely use a trading post. And I have no hesitation putting it in right there. Ah. You would think building a well would be a, one of the first things you'd do. But if you thought that, you'd think wrong. I'm gonna build two wells. What a bougie village. Wells on either side of town. Keep saying new mercs are available, and I'm like, oh boy! No, there's no new mercs. Be glad you didn't grow up in Scotland. A lot of line dancing. I can see that for sure. Randy Johnson. This guy could be a Randy Johnson. He's got a big wooden shaft. I might as well start building that now because I don't know when I'm going to need it. I should also just upgrade that. All right. The town's going okay. Well, perhaps it was simply a bad bet. These things do happen from time to time. Throw the stone cutter here. It's a bit far, but uh, it's going to be like a very slow build. So just as he like collects everything. All right. Why is this animal deposit not being hunted by anybody? How is this at 38? It definitely should not be. Uh, all of our homes here are full. Come one, come all. You'll not find Feast your eyes on all sides. I am noticing that now. Cavern supply. Eleven ale. No malt, 16 barley. Is the problem that the malt house is not working fast enough? Twenty-eight gambesons. <laughs> Trying to make sure everybody's got gambesons. We're getting there. Most of them have mail now as well, which is pretty good. Upgrade all these. I just realized these are all going to be closest to the tavern, so they're probably going to be the first places to get booze. So, Steve, Dave, the town's guard. Wow, I love how many characters they let you put in. Most games would be like, mm, 12 is enough. Mm. 
Not this game, baby. Sky's the limit. I'm going to cut the taxes down because what do I need money for right now? Food's going up to 13, which is fantastic to see. Fuel at 6. I want to start getting these firms going. That's definitely the next step here. That feels good. I think I could work with that. Turn off the snap road so we can put it right at the end. Thing of beauty, my boys. <laughs> so the Burley Fields. Three Morgans? Okay. We are obviously going to crop rotate this because I can just do... I mean, honestly... As long as I'm rotating all three crops. Kind of feels like I should be fine. Too many trees in the way still. Gonna add a plowing station in here. Bad thing is, after all the dancing, still can't dance to save yourself. A ways away from the other, so collar isn't as bad. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta learn certain dances, like you know, open the open the door, step on the floor, everybody do the dinosaur. These are important ones to learn. The hokey pokey. Thankfully, that stopped after the entire class turned around. Could have been a close one. Bill from accounting and Father Dougal. Bill from accounting. We'll keep Lionheart. I can't name the priest because nobody actually works at the church. Definitely. These guys get the cowbell. Clothing stalls. That's what I'm not doing here. I'm not tanning leather. I have neglected to see to that. Oh, they have this nice little road coming out here on the firm that really makes me want to perhaps just also do that. Or like, I don't know. I just love the natural lines. 
Can't fight it. Could I sneak another field in here? I could, but it would be pretty baby. Why don't I just actually move the logging camp? And the saw pit. Then I've got lots of room to build more farmland. That makes way more sense. Meow. Hi. Wanna come up and say hi to everybody? Or you want me to tuck you into the bed? That's what you want. This cat's just coming in here to be like, what are you doing? Why are you still on stream? Get out of here. Oh man, it is really hard to get influence up. <coughs> When there's no bandits to kill. I'm realizing. That is a difficult, difficult step. Um, oh, these guys have no money. Did we build the trading post? We did. What do they have in this town? Not really of value. I could maybe sell some vegetables. Oh, it's the wrong number. Maybe sell down to 70. Something like that. Fields are renowned for their natural stealth skills. What else gives influence? Killing bandits, tides, building churches, upgrading churches, and upgrading the manor. Those are the other big ones. So if I can get these supplies, we could do that for sure. Bill Rye, the field guy. I guess these guys will also get a retinue. Or my retinue will grow. This is retinue I can have, so I'm assuming I will also get retinue walled brand. Though I can't say I know for certain. All right, you guys there, you guys there. Just gonna limit your area to up here for right now. Put someone on the tannery. That will let me start upgrading people. Put someone on the stonecutter's camp. We can just start stockpiling. Someone on the trading post so we can actually start selling things. Okay. This little town is coming together. I'll have burgages out here. And then... I guess Burgage is out here or here. Maybe both. We got a tavern up and running, even though we're nowhere near needing it. But I also have expanded living spaces. Which I forgot all about. That will make that town upgrade to the next level. Meanwhile, this town is running smooth. Uh, our iron pit is at 50%. So I think when we finally manage to get three level three burgages, that's got to be the thing we upgrade first. Yes. All right. 
We've managed to get enough booze here to keep this going. Yeah, we actually have like 39 Malta in stock. I have 100 hides and zero leather. What are my tanners doing? Nothing, apparently. Perhaps we need more population here so they have something to do. Is marrying your cousins in this game? I think that's Crusader Kings. <laughs> How do the different towns interact? Can you move resources from one to the other? Yeah, you can build a pack station. Which allows you to trade for like actual value. Which is a little confusing. But does start to make some sense over time. I should have level increased. Now. What's the next level? Oh. Only four more Burgage plots. We'll take advanced skinning then. I am actually out of planks, which is stopping me from upgrading places. Incredible. So that's going to hit max level really soon. Yeah, large town is the next step, so. More market areas for their stalls. Ooh, the market is full. Do we build the southern market? How many could we fit in this tiny little spot? Five. Not many. The alternative is we build a bunch in here. And we can, it looks like get 30, 34. I don't love that. I think it's what we'll do. And we'll add another road. And I think this means I'm going to be adding in a bunch more burgages. This seems crazy, but it kind of works it's a lot of homes let's hope that doesn't d upset the delicate eco balance of this city <laughs> it might sign another stream I think if you get deep mines and then put them on a rich deposit it lasts forever yeah yeah that's what the upgrade is So I do want to get that, but I'm not in the biggest rush. All right. These guys should upgrade the city here. Where's my saw pit? Okay. I think I'm going to dedicate an animal to the saw pit here so that we always have planks. 82% approval rating. Very nice. Uh, and then I can upgrade these hitching posts to stables. 
get more oxen so that they can work the field. Because, like, they should not be plowing this by hand. I appreciate that they are, but, like, I literally built a plowing station there so that they could just have the oxen do that for them. So, fingers crossed we can get that fixed up. I have five people here and no one is available to work. We don't have no firewood? That's not true. Upgrade, upgrade. Let's get some oxes. Like 25 logs here. I got to get rid of somehow. I don't think I do any of this without more oxes. Honestly, I think I'm going to put someone to work on both these stables as well. Place is clearly going to need the extra hands. A band of raiders was seen. Ooh, just south of us. Let's rally the army. We're being raided, lads. Let's go clubbing. Uh, oh man, all of our armies are like maxed out on people. No, my retinue is for some reason one short. Brand new for some reason is not rallying properly. Weird. There we go. Now they worked. Knew it was his last day before retirement. He was taking chances. Can you blame him? He just wanted to live. Archers. Swords, homies. Heavy infantry, homies. Archers. We're all trying to figure out, like, how do we get there? They got stuck in the trading post for a moment. Yeah, so, like, in theory, people are meant to shoot arrows out of these manors as well, but I've never been able to get it to work. Um, all right. So, this is pretty much all downhill. From where they're attacking. I think we're just going to stay exactly where we are here. My archers might have some kind of trash shots, but... We're already shooting. Oh my god, my ready was running. We're all tired. 
These guys have 112. Oh, cool. So the Spear Militia have fought a bunch of times. So now they have experience. Which gives them additional bonus in their effectiveness. Hmm, you're gonna have to run on them, I think. We'll do a beautiful flank on this side. Turn these guys on shoot at will. Right now, they're just like, yeah, you guys, give, you kick the tar out of them. Good job, everybody. One group of bandits down. My other retinue is not doing so hot, though. That retinue is real nappy. We're going to give her homie some backup. We're just going to dogpile on these brigands. This is the first time we fought in our own territory. Yeah. Victory, lads. Don't be shy, good sirs and late. Ah, so normally we haven't had this problem because we've always fought somewhere else, but now there are corpses littering the battlefield. And we actually got to do something about them. We need a corpse hole. The real question is, where do we want to put it? Nah, you know what? That's too good a spot. I want the corpse hole to hide in the trees. It's basically where the clay pit was. So I like the idea that we like dug out all the clay and then we filled it with, filled the hole with corpses. That was a very successful battle. I'm very happy with that. <gasps> and we have enough influence to attack. To attack anywhere we so choose. We'll take a claim on Goldhoff. Let's see what happens. We have enough money to hire uh, like uh, so many mercenaries. The gauntlet has been thrown. The battle for Goldhoff has begun. Hildebrandt von Bernadut and Sir Argent. In the battle for Goldhoff, he's bringing in mercenaries from the north. We're going to hire mercs. Oh, there's no mercs for hire. Okay, rude, but all right. Rally up. Here goes my production change. Man, I feel like we got a lot of guys in town right now, so we should be fine. All these plots slowly being built. I don't know what we're going to put in here food wise. Egg. Did they all run? Are they all running? Don't run. Please don't. Please. Please don't run. I didn't realize you would run. Whew. 
Ooh, he's got a lot of troops. <laughs> he has three archer regiments. 36 heavy infantry. I didn't even know I could have 36 heavy infantry. I guess if I built another manor. Randy size by 12, limited to one per region. Huh. That's going to be tough. I can't go anywhere till my guys rest. We're going to need to figure out where we want to build a manor here. I feel like the natural spot is either behind this church. I feel like the natural spot is behind this church. Uh, there's a great hill. That we can move into. I'm worried about how tired our guys are. All right, we'll throw someone on the corpse pit. I guess I'll throw someone on the church as well. <laughs> Just in case. Soaking wet, minus 10. Yeah, see, none of their guys are exhausted at all. And all of my guys are super exhausted. Surrounded by trees, minus 10. A new message. I can make it worthwhile if you drop all your claims. No. I can't believe there's no mercenaries for me to buy. He bought every single mercenary. What a chump. Do trees interfere with archery? I don't believe so. No, not that I have seen. And honestly, they kind of like mask your where your guys are, so. All right, they're starting to get a little tired. Which is good because we're starting to get a little rested. I better start actually figuring out this attack pattern here. The battle for Goldhoff begins. They have set their location. Okay, okay. Now, a cool thing here, I am pretty sure if I stay in these trees, I can attack those archers and they won't be able to see me. And I'm on a hill. which might give me some advantages. We start sneaking our way up. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. Like we're outnumbered in this fight. Because he got all the mercenaries, and I did not hire any mercenaries. Forward. 
I don't know. I'm also like all these archers are moving up right now ahead of everybody else. Can they see me? Oh, I think they can. where I want to commit right now. You guys get into defensive. You guys need to move forward. I want you on Mercs. You're attacking those brigands. Oh my god, do I have them all on missile alert still? I hope not. Uh, their effectiveness is basically zero. Which is good. I want these guys off missile alert. Off missile alert. I want you push forward. Push forward. Stand your ground. Good, good. These two certain. No, they're shooting. I'm, I'm finally catching up to the archers up there. It's taking me far too long for it. Those brigands are broken. Honestly, my spearmen are doing pretty well here at holding the line. If I could get a flank. But I don't want to be shot by all of those archers, but I don't think I have much of a choice in the matter. Those guys are getting gutted right now by my archers. Oh, that's tasty. If y'all could get in there like anywhere it would be good. Uh, I don't know where that other set of archers just disappeared to. But I'm going to turn these guys to balanced instead of stand your ground. And now that we have the flank. Yes. Broke one. Those dudes are chasing. I think we just broke the other. We broke all of them. Incredible. Oh, oh, oh. Here they are. We found them. Took me a hot minute, but we found them. How's this going? Slaughtering them. Oh, hell yeah, dudes. Is combat close to Total War game or Age of Empires? Closer to Total War. It's obviously got some differences, but it feels very Total War. And I say this as a like long-term Total War vet. Uh, I guess these guys should probably move up and help. These guys could probably go not friendly fire. Let's go shoot at will. As we run them down. Should I just keep my retinue here? 
Uh, looks like we ran those guys off. So it should just be these archers who remain. Who are out of energy. And getting slaughtered by spearmen. That was sick. Knocked him over to the ground and just like busted him in with a shield. I love that they're trying to run, but I have two groups of spearmen chasing them down. And they're still managing to kind of get away. Now it says the battlefield is here. Yeah, dudes. Please chase down these archers. I definitely don't love that the archers can just like get away like this. Seeing as I clearly need to kill them. Like if they are this low on energy, how are they able to move so fast? And am I just going to get like ripped up by these dudes right now? Are they just trying to catch their breath? Is that what's happening here? No, they're shooting my guys. These are spearmen though. They're like the best. Uh, they got the biggest shields. So if anyone is designed to tank archers, it's them. Fear? Could be fear. I mean, you can see they're so they're using the ability here. Give ground. Guys, I still need you guys to come in here and help. If y'all could also move up so you actually have shots, I'd appreciate that. 1% versus 18%. Corpses near recent losses. Uh, uh, I am going to need for sure that church. And then probably a corpse pit down here somewhere. It's funny because it's like everything still is going while this battle is happening, right? Like my town still has needs. Oh, these guys are exhausted. Okay, my archers are doing pretty good work. Changing the numbers here. Should I maybe just like... Do this? Peace declared. We officially won the battle. Hell yeah. Enemy archers, zoom, zoom. Yeah, it, it, there's definitely, if you have like 0% fatigue, it doesn't feel like you should be able to run so fast. <laughs> That's definitely got some tweaking that needs to happen. Oh, that was glorious. I didn't think we were going to win that fight. I was very scared. We were mad outnumbered. But we had the hill and we had the forest. So we just like baited them into good location. This was also... Um, you get effectiveness for fighting in your own territory. 
So I think I was getting that in a lot of those melees. Combat does not feel decisive or satisfying. I mean, the little bit of like running around there at the end was a little bit annoying for sure. But the managing of units feels very, as I said, it's like very Total War feeling. When they engage up, it, it, it's, it sinks and it feels good. Back to work, you Zug Zugs. Everybody onto the road. Bodies need burial here. Corpse pit needs making. Got no bodies to bury over here. Handful in the corpse pit. Nobody's been buried in the church. Here is going to be a different story, though. We should start seeing bodies here because um, we did lose, like, a lot of people fighting those archers. What I'd love to figure out now is how to get, like, this retinue up to a bigger size. Like, if I build the manor here, will that change it? Need to get other villages up and running for more units. You can use the we export weapons from my starting town. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm starting to think. Yeah. Steve Dave still with us? Do we need to get a son, Bob Gray? It doesn't look like we lost any of our uh, any of our knights. <laughs> they look very tired. A lot of nappy boys. Ready to go down for the big snooze. There we go. They all have the good armor, right? Okay, yeah, even these guys. You can see their face. It's still, they're still okay. Oh, dudes. A big, great big fight like that. So satisfying. What are these dudes doing? Get out of my town. Everybody's like throwing eggs at him is what I would like to imagine. You murdered the sons and husbands of this village. Yeah, I lost quite a lot of spear guys. And actually, I need to make new spears. missing planks <laughs> I actually have enough people I have enough booze and everything to upgrade all of my places but I don't have enough planks good to know can you raid for resources money or just conquer at the moment just conquer I imagine uh I don't know if this is the case, but I imagine there's going to be like some sort of plan to be able to send your armies out into other zones. Even if it's just like you go to a trade point and then they like they're off the map temporarily looting and pillaging. But I'd feel pretty surprised if we didn't kind of go that way. I wonder, are these guys like not hunting because I... Why do I have units up here? Transporting meat. These trees are really in my way. Is he a trader? No, he's a hunter. No idea why they have to go this far to collect hunted game. 
That seems like that's not meant to be the case. Uh, we have a letter from Hildebrett. Uh, my claims are non-negotiable, dude. I have negative one king's favor. Can be used for diplomatic purposes, including pressing and refuting claims. You guys got some corpses to dig. And otherwise, we're looking pretty good over here. We're ready to start setting up the rest of the fields, expanding the farms. Perhaps buying some more ox. And uh, we'll build up a manor here, and then we'll actually start getting a... Um, army. We'll set up another army. I think once we upgrade the manor... And like the church one level, we probably have another 2000 influence and we can attack. Mm, not sure quite what I'm going to go here for immediately. Probably apple orchards. We can set up some pretty tasty orchards. So looks like they killed the prey animal when it went to the nearest road, followed the hut road back to town. That's a bit confusing, but they were also very far why they were hunting up here. Like they're meant to be hunting here. So I don't know why they had to go so far to find those animals. But we will figure it out over time for today. With that big battle, that is going to be all the time we have for today. Uh, what What is it, Sir, Sir Angle? Sir Argent? Was this one? We'll grab that save. That's going to be all the Mandalorians we got for today. We're going to be back tomorrow with a whole bunch more. Uh, so if you want to see more Mandalorians, you're in a great spot for it. Uh, we'll do more combat. We'll probably, I suspect, be able to finish this zone tomorrow is, is the idea. If we could build up the rest of the influence attack, tomorrow's all going to be about setting up another big army and then just going out and attacking and attacking and attacking, building up our manor, building up our churches. But that'll be tomorrow.